Good evening, and welcome back to another episode of Icebound. We would really appreciate it if while you're watching and enjoying this video, you would like it, subscribe to our channel, and check the bell so you never miss an episode. This, of course, is episode 19, so I will commence with the reading of comments from episode 18, which Derek selected tonight, so thank you. Uh, quote, I have never seen a more important role in any of interest game. I'm glad to see our esteemed cook's cookware is intact. <laughs> <laughs> so I still have heart palpitations about that. Quote within a quote. I have never been more sure that we will prevail against this because we have to prevail against this. Straight up chills, Mace. Oh, I said that. <laughs> I thought you said that. Wow. I know it was a good line. It's yeah. probably not me. I know. I was just, I was just it's, thinking. It's definitely I was not like, me. Damn, that was badass. <laughs> that probably might be. Oh, who said that? Uh, Allegedly, it was me. Uh, uh, it was. I remember. I just wanted to let you know that I faked it. Scrim and every woman I've ever been with. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, New canon of Antris measurements include the Brainways 400 cheeseburgers, three bald eagles across, two ogres wide, and American footballs. <laughs> I forgot about that. And lastly, five, I need to see a crossover with Ice Brown and Once Upon a Witch Light. So, please leave a comment below. Like I said, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and check the bell. And of course, if you have some time and would like to support us, check out the Patreon and the merch shop. In the meantime, enjoy tonight's episode. Thank you. We are Legends of Avantris. This is Icebound. Lend us your strength and join us. Hope has nearly died within you when suddenly there is a flash of blinding light and moments later you hear a crackling boom. On the mountain peak you see a vertical jagged shape like a spike of ice projecting upwards. The shape then moves and unfurls and you realize what exactly it is you look upon. The Princess of Wrath's massive wingspan is easily over 60 feet in length, spreading outwards. Her scales, as white as the driven snow, glisten with a faint blue hue. The dragon's body is thick and muscular. The spikes on her back are jagged and razor sharp. Despite her massive size, the Princess of Wrath is incredibly agile, her movements quick and precise. She soars forward straight for the ship, ascends, and slams into the side of the ship, rocking it violently beneath your feet. The Princess of Wrath clutches the side of the ship with her great talons, <coughs> rears back her head to the storming sky, and roars. You find yourselves now trapped fighting the Elder Brain Sophilith in the command room of its nautiloid ship as it soars through a snowstorm and as it is assaulted by the ancient white dragon you've come to know as the Princess of Wrath. 
The thick and invisible hull that surrounds you does little to muffle her powerful bellow, and whatever you were feeling moments ago is washed away with pure adrenaline. The blood in your veins feels both hot and icy at the same time, and you realize that the decisions you make in the next few moments won't just determine your own fate, but perhaps the fate of thousands. Wide-eyed, Ket Rostin stares out in shock at the sight of the Princess of Wrath and then towards each of you. The point of his magnificent silver sword continues to stab down and down into the invulnerable shield protecting Sophilith, and Ket yells out, What in the nice hells? A dragon? Tell me, friend or foe? Sophilith must be distracted by her arrival. I cannot lose this chance to destroy the nemesis of my people. Steal yourselves while you can! What happens next is up to you. Before we dive in, fucking cool. Let's Sorry. do a little housekeeping. Okay. Because <sighs> we're picking up right where we left off, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm not going to make you roll for initiative. We're keeping oh. where we were, mm -hmm. and we are keeping exactly where you picked back up. However, I need to remind myself a few things. Everyone except for Tai Shen failed uh, the initial mind obliteration ability that dazed you. Sounds this is right. my variant of oh, stunned Dude, that everyone already. enjoyed. And oh, I, have, really I have them already. Thank so, uh, Barnabas, you're near Queenie Scrim. The four of the, uh, you will be dazed. And I can oh, remind you of those rules when we get to that uh, moment. Um, Queenie, recall that you have put a hunter's mark. Uh, mechanically yeah, on uh, Sophilith. That's yep. still true. You. Uh, Scrim, you put your Hexblade yeah, curse on right. Sophilith. That is go. still true. Um, and uh, the only the damage that's been ha uh, that's happened uh, so far to Sophilith is that um, he was chomped by the doggo that you summoned Scrim. And then the was obliterated. And then it was obliterated by that same mind obliteration, which yeah. was a pretty powerful attack. It was really an opener that, that did a lot of uh, good work for uh, Sophilith. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't have more of those. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> I was looking through my character sheet and I'm like, Wild Shape? What the fuck? And I realized I was on Greco. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I also uh, opened Gideon to start. Oh, God. Yeah. Hardly yeah. enough. Back to level four. That's <laughs> not high. I, I also I know, am man. trying to remember um, you used a spell before before we uh, actually got to the ship itself, I believed you used the Rune of Protection. I did. Oh. And someone still has that, and it does good work. Uh, I have it. Yeah, he, keep that in mind yep. as and if you should get psychic damage. Yeah, no, that's, I'm, I think I'm relatively healthy, and that's probably why. Okay. Okay. Ooh. I'm relatively healthy compared to an invalid or a 90 year old man. <laughs> And Scrim was a good friend. Was. So here we have our uh, arrangement. Uh, let's do this thing, as they say. <coughs> you hear this roar, adrenaline dumps into your veins, and you can hear God. that same emotionless voice reverberate within your mind. Stay where you are, one moment while I deal with this. Still reeling from this sudden revelation, you watch as the massive tentacles that stretch out from the sides of the dominant mind reach up and smash down towards the Princess of Wrath. She dodges the first, but takes the full brunt of a second tentacle as thick as the trunk of an evergreen tree, smashing down against her shielding wing. Queenie, your turn. Oh my god. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, was not prepared for it to be my turn. Um, You're that. Yeah. yeah. You get them rabbits feet. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So do we have to do any rolls for the stun first? At the beginning of your turn, you can roll to uh, uh, clear the dazed. It's a intelligence saving throw, and the DC is 18, so I recommend you do that first. An int saving throw? Yep. I picked. I rolled the worst character for this arc. <laughs> Scrim is dumb as a bag of rocks. Was it proficient at least? No, so is Not an end time. Not. You're not. I'm in. I'm wizard. Oh, charisma. charisma wisdom. Never mind. Yeah. Now I'm thinking of wizards. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. A, a wizard squirm is not. <laughs> now, I, I think we toyed around with the idea. Maybe I, I'm remembering incorrectly, but didn't we talk a little bit about have, having uh, Scrim be an int warlock? <clears throat> I don't very maybe, like me for like five minutes. Maybe when so, I was anyways, drunk ass. I like I like my I like my warlocks. <laughs> um, I hope not. Queenie will move towards okay. the exit. Your movement is free. 
and then any additional thing that you oh. do is going to be 1d6 damage unless you can clear the dazed right. uh, oh. condition that you currently are. Okay, so you can still move. But you so can make move. the saving throw now if you want to try and clear it. Mm. But can I do, like, can I do that at the end of my turn after I take damage? If you want to, but I mechanically I would recommend that you do it now so that you see if you have the ability to clear it. So you can clear it now. I can clear it for free. Yes, mm-hmm. it, but potentially. Yes. Well, oh. yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah, not yeah. an. I'm asking it, you, if it's you know an action we, to clear. I like to do the. Uh, uh, you can make the save at the end of the at, at the end of your turns at the beginning of people's okay. turns, so that you okay. don't like have like skip a turn well, abilities and stuff. Okay. Oh, sure. You can make your intelligence saving throw now. <clears throat> No. Okay. So I'm going to move <laughs> towards the uh, right. exit. And now we know. Um, and I am going to look towards the brain, and I am going to... Um, uh, Queenie's going to, f- just for the sake of it's cool, uh, fire an arrow towards the ceiling, and it is Ooh. going to rain down um, pollen, uh, casting fairy fire. Oh! Holy oh. shit! Oh. Very, okay. very cool. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, I'm presuming that your uh, intent is only to illuminate uh, the brain. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. And so she would aim. She would aim the uh, the arrow. It's got like a little yellow like pouch on the front of the arrow, and okay. as it hits, the pouch explodes, oh. raining down the hall. Um, it starts um, to uh, uh, hit that um, invulnerable shield, and it itself illuminates very much. Um, and you expect it to be able to persist. It has uh, to make a dexterity saving throw. Oh. So it I does guess. get to do that. Oh, does to it? see if it, yeah. I I'm imagining that an immovable brain is probably going to have trouble passing. I mean, I almost want to just give it to you. Let's I'm find out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> a three. Does it a three? fails. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, any creature that attacks it will that be at advantage. Thing. Very good. Fairy fire. Love that. Thank you. Love that for you. Do uh, you. you want to do anything else with your turn? Well, I would like to take the damage. How much damage am I taking? Oh, you, you did for uh, extra. Action. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You take 1d6 for the casting of the spell. Is that a 5 or a 2? Uh, it should be on the opposite uh, of it. What's a, the opposite number? The opposite should be 4 if it's a 2. That's a 2. They, so the opposite. That's a five. Opposite side should add up to that, seven. Yeah, good, they like, do, but oh. it's five to that. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> okay, so that's a two. So five I'll take two points you of damage. You take two points of psychic damage. You're so stunned as you even just attempt to cast a simple My spell, bad. fairy fire. Uh, 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 you get this spike uh, like a headache uh, jam right behind your ear, uh, almost closing in towards the temple. And you said that we had a potion. Where did that come from? Um, oh, if you Kat, Kat, Kat gave us uh, each a potion. Yeah, yeah so if you didn't one. already drink your healing potion, then I don't remember. I don't have it in my inventory. I but. imagine that you would have used your hit dice, and then you probably still have a. Let me just quickly look up what I gave you. Um, <coughs> I had used all of my hit I dice would, before you, he you handed do rapid out. Quaffing, yeah. Yeah. Because I, I would, I would like to rapid quaff. You would them like to rapid quaff if I still have. Them. Oh, I have two health potions now. Let me. Ooh. I've had a health potion this whole time. I didn't know you were doing so well. <laughs> wow. Did you get a raise? Wow. You're hungry, boy. It's a very I dexterous got a big brain. Bags on bottom. Of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a dexterous uh, brain. It's a greater potion has of two healing. potions in and it. That's, uh, and that's. I play Wordle every day. Forty-four um, plus four. Forty-four plus four. Okay. But um, you will, because it's a bonus <clears throat> action, you'll take one d six damage doing it. I can survive that. Okay. Oh yeah. Plus, if I'll it's a do big the old damage potion. first. That's that's five. Oof. Are we sure? <laughs> no. Because yeah. I'm not. Four. There you go. Five. Oh, you're in the you're in the black. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Points. Nice. Nice. Ooh. Better. <laughs> it's better than where I was to start. Thank you. That is my turn. My pleasure. The Princess of Wrath responds to the sudden ambush, twisting and turning like an enraged beast. Her tail collides with the tentacle that just crashed into her by knocking it away, and she bites down on another. The tendril is ripped in half by her fearsome jaws. Gore and ichor splash out atop the boardwalk, and the severed tentacle disappears into the storm-filled sky, still undulating. Barnabas, you're up. Uh, I will look around and see, is, is, are we... And so we're like over, we're in a snowy area, and there's a dragon. Yeah. Uh, and I will just after being slammed against it, my crab claws will scrape against the side of it, and I'll look around, and I'll say, <laughs> "This is like the time we encountered a mega tusk off the coast of Kaluak. Ah, this is it, lads. This is how we die. Ah, freedom for all those 
enslaved by this beastie. I said I would not stop until all my enemies are destroyed. And Sophilith, you are my enemy. And I'm going to run back to the point where I had been hammering. Okay. Uh, completely mad eyed and uh, and and bellowing with laughter as I just continue to just smash in as as hard as I can with Make my. Make your intelligence saving throw. Oh. And then you can move and do whatever you like. I fail. Okay. <laughs> can I move to where that was? It was next to the on the uh, other side of the brain. Yeah. yeah, I would say with your additional speed because you're a barbarian, you'd be able to make it to. Wall, yep. right? Yeah, yeah. So yep. bang. <clears throat> Man, cool. And then take damage for extra. You don't have to roll the hit. You just can roll damage. I gave it to you. Oh, I, I gave that to you last session. I presume it's psychic damage, so I can't resist it. Oh, and object too. So would the wall count? He'd be at advantage against the wall. He already automatically hits the wall. Okay, cool. I'm just going to see if I crit. In case you wanted to let him, you know, have a fan of him. Oh, I suppose you could roll the crit. That's a fair point. Um, I don't. <laughs> I I wouldn't fairy fire the wall. It would happen automatically. He's already, already advanced with his record. Yeah. Look, okay? I can't <laughs> stop the fact that the pollen is going places. The wall okay? is covered in pollen, the okay? The wall is covered in pollen. It's yellow. You can see it. I can't help it. I can't help uh, it. That, so I'm going to do this 2d6. Okay. Could be worse. 11. 11. Uh, 14. Uh... 14, 16, plus 14, 30 points of bludgeoning damage. Wow. On the... Ah, Holy shit. Wow. Take heart, like Mr. Steen said! <laughs> You're hearing this metallic clang every single time the anchor smashes into this wall, and though the illusion that you can see through in all directions is still perfect, you imagine that the hull is being damaged in your mind. And I take damage, correct? Uh, you take 1d6 damage for uh, the additional action beyond movement. <clears throat> Four. What kind of damage is that? Psychic? Psychic. Okay. That makes it easy for me. Oh, man. I know what I want to do. Is that the conclusion of your turn? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, that's my turn. Yeah. The Princess of Wrath howls in pain and stumbles, her claws gripping into the slick surface of the boardwalk to keep balance. The psionic attack is only momentarily effective, and she writes herself, shrugging off whatever debilitating power Sophilith just attempted. You're near. Does it, is it obvious that he's still under the protection of the Hexature armament? Uh, yes. Okay. The shield is even more obvious now that it is covered with the soft pollen glow of fairy fire. <laughs> what was an invisible shield that he'd only ever see get struck and then these bands of energy would uh, come out, now is like a, a cocoon. Mm. Oh boy, I don't even know what to do. <laughs> no, Dobro arrives. <laughs> yeah, I guess I could eat a Reuben. Yeah. I pass my turn and take a bite of my sandwich. <laughs> oh, man, this dragon is. I would start with an intelligent saving throw. Any, oh, anyone uh, craving Dairy Queen hot dogs now? Oh, Feels like a good. Could be good. So I think I'm proficient in that. Good time to. Dairy Queen hot dogs. Yeah, uh, seventeen. This dragon oh. just barely doesn't 18. get it. Oh, That's I fine. should be. I should be remembering how it's to do. It's just psychic damage, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just yeah, yeah. Per extra action you take, well, only only if yeah. You, you can do one thing. You get free action. If you, you don't, don't move, you just do one thing. You don't take damage. any damage. Um, well, we just got blasted against the wall. Are we prone or like can I stand up? Um, I can't recall I if you're prone, prone, so I'm gonna say everyone was standing. Okay. So then, flavor. It was just flavor. Is anyone looking particularly weak? <laughs> No, weaker than normal. No. If he, if is he, anyone wounded, like like brain wise? I am not. No. Not brain wounded. No. I mean, again, no. no I'm more than great. normal. I'm a little bloody, but Scrim's just always kind of brain damaged. <laughs> Queenie just drank a potion. She's feeling much better than she brain was previously. Wounded. <laughs> the side of my body that smashed into the side of the spaceship is still covered in barnacles on that one side. Nice. As I slooped up there. Uh, then what I will do is. Fuck it. Uh, I'm going to say uh, brain freeze. 
Enjoy some ice cream. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Dairy Queen. I don't take care of this guy. Alden, dispel the sorcery, and I will cast dispel magic to see if it does anything on the uh, on the shield. Okay. Um, or did I try that last time? You have not yet. I don't know. Think you, you did not try that. Though. Okay. You, you tested it by doing a uh, wisdom saving throw or dexterity saving throw, like a uh, cantrip, I believe, was your initial I think you uh, threw a snowball test. at him. You, okay. yeah, 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 your first round was like a snowball. We'll try it. Okay. You cast Dispel Magic, and for a moment, there's this, like, ripple that occurs, and, and, and you see it weaken for a moment, but it immediately pops back into a perfect oh, curve. Sorry. Pintles worth the shot. <laughs> That's my turn. That's your turn. <laughs> yeah, uh, it is worth a shot. I agree. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. No, that, I, I'll just I'll, I'll save my resources. <clears throat> Thanks, uh, for later. Later. Okay. Um, tadpoles. Uh, <gasps> who's got tadpoles on him, and how many? I, I guess I have one. We all have one. I, I definitely. Scrim has at, on two potential. I have none. Oh, oh, Scrim assuming or this I is, could have two. Assuming this one's on Ket. I have one. Ket has one. Yornir has two. I have two. Queenie has two. There's one out in the open. open. Two. I think this was There's one out in the open. You literally moved one over to me well, so it wouldn't be on you. Well, I, 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 you I don't think I had three on me. Well, so for what is yours? Yeah, yeah. For what is yours? That one that was out there in the middle. There was one that was between the two of us and it could have gone to either or. Rich... Move one <laughs> him to no, because you moved. I I moved one of them with you, but I it, it was next to you when we started. So anyway, we'll say it's out in the middle. I don't remember us removing them, but mm-hmm. again, I don't know. It's out in the middle. I watched that. Um, so watched is there it. one on Queenie? Is there, there one on is. Queenie? Two on There Scram, could two potentially on be two. It's really up to the DM though, and not the cheater. That's one true. on. <laughs> I'm gonna Cat. say it's on your near. Your uh, <laughs> near has three, uh, three, three dead bulls. Yeah. Because they all slammed into the wall. And these are yeah. slow moving creatures. Remember, they sort of shoot forward and undulate yeah. grossly. They and they, so uh, they are going to attempt to start to roll on you or grasp you. Okay. And uh, these disgusting, like lavender colored uh, crawfish start to crawl all around. They're still hungry. Hungry for something. Uh, Queenie, a 16. Uh, that doesn't. That, no, that misses. That misses. Yeah. Uh, and uh, we have two on scrim. Yeah. Happy Meal also made a good point. These are literally the taper tots. That's true. <laughs> 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 no, I'm a taper tot. Um, two or seventeen. Seventeen. Okay. It meets it. Meets it. Okay. Uh, that means that you're bullshit. going to be grasped. <laughs> By one of them. You see one of yeah. them crawling up your boot. Of course. Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. Make a note of that. Okay. Um, I've, made, I've noted tadpole on, bo- tadpole tadpole on, on boot. boot. Uh, okay, three on your near, we said. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fuck it, why not? Eight, six, seventeen. Seven, five, three, oh, nine. Nine, nine. Uh, Jenny. What was the highest? Seventeen? Seventeen. Oh. Jenny. This right? Journey. Yeah, no, that hits. Uh, 17 hits. Okay, uh, you look Journey. down and you realize that Thank one of them is on your thigh. Yeah, gotcha. It has actually managed to actually like start to crawl up and uh, make its way underneath <laughs> between the fabric your of your robe real and, and between the, um, uh, the, your pant leg. Uh, and there's one on Taishan or two? One. Well, I mean, it, they are not cat. interested in cat. Oh, yeah, so, two, two, two on two. Taishan. Oh, because he's on top, like with the Buster Sword. Well, I think he's also a they don't have type any, of entity um, that they 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 they, they, uh, they 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 just don't have any taste for a gift. Uh, fourteen what? and seventeen. What golden dragonborn? <laughs> they won't. They, let's put it this way: they won't go after a creature they couldn't finish their work with. Oh, and they're oh. fourteen and seventeen. Fourteen and miss seventeen would well, it would hit. Make a note that you have been grasped by one of these tadpole. This oh. is scary. Be scared of the tadpoles. Oh, gosh. Right. Great. That's, well, that's it fine. It didn't get to me, though, so I'm not scared. That's I, true. You yeah. walked away from it pretty casually, I actually. Did. They're yeah. very slow. It tried to latch on to me, and I said, no. Nah. You probably could have stepped on one on the way, I but you chose not to. You were too I dazed. I was, I'm mentally very perturbed Noted. by other things. The princess redirects her attention to the flailing tentacles that threaten her 
and a brilliant blue light shines from the back of her throat and she roars. A massive surge of cold and ice explodes outward from her mouth as she roars. Nearly all of the tentacles on the starboard side of the ship freeze, shatter, break apart. Let's the ship go. vibrates under the under your feet from the force of this attack and you feel a new vibrating turbulence. We're fine. Uh, uh, I unfortunately have several questions. I, I hate to do this. No, 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 no. Um, no we're good. We're first good. of all, I watched the hound pass through the shield. Mm -hmm. Correct? Do I feel as if I were to have some other magical mist-like effect that would come out from me if that might get through the shield? Remind me what your stat block said about the its ability to move in and out of like the planes okay. or, or, or something. It, the accursed specter. And it notes. was that spectral was nature notes? that I made Extras. that judgment about. Spectre. Has uh, in incorporeal movement. Can move through other creatures and objects as if they were difficult terrain. It takes force damage if it ends up inside an object. It was that incorporeality that I judged would allow it to pass okay, through. Okay, so, so in a mist, almost a ghost-like fashion. A misty-like spell wouldn't do anything. Oh, uh, if you were to endeavor a teleport or something along those lines, I can't tell you what would happen. <gasps> Maybe okay. some sort of different uh, outcome. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take an attempt, even though I only have two spell slots. Provided my next question is also reasonable. These tadpoles. Uh, is there a way that I could discern uh, potentially that they might be uh, leech-like? Leech-like? Yeah. Like um, like the animal, a leech. The oh, creature, oh, a leech. these are living creatures. They're organic in that way. Does it, does it, is it in the same family as a leech? Can I make a discerning, can I discern that, right? From the material to, component. Would I be able to discern that this is a leech-like oh! creature? Oh. Wow. I was trying not to like, you know, trying to discern if yeah, this is a leech, a leech. I'm trying to make some animal. goblin surf and turf. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> some, some goblin surf. Finally. Sushi. Yeah, it's that been 20 is, minutes since I'm out of the That is cleverly asked, and I would say that the parasitic nature of what a tadpole truly is would fall in a leech-like category. Okay. Beautiful. Lastly. Can I use my free object interaction to grab one of these horrific tadpoles and use it as a material component in the spell? <laughs> I would say that that would be doable. Now, you are still dazed. Um, yes, yeah, that Free object interaction is not going to count against your shit, I would say. Uh, it's okay if it does. I don't care. I'm going to roll intelligence first. It says the, the word free, free. Oh. I got 18! <laughs> okay. Yes! And with a negative Woo! one. That means that you still fail. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. I have plus one. Uh, so I can remove this. Yeah. Thank you, fucking God. Okay. I hear Barnabas' incredible, mad, raving speech. And even though I still hate him deep down, it uh, fills me with inspiration. I forgot we're fighting. And, uh, yeah, we're still fighting. Uh, it fills me with inspiration. I haven't forgotten. And, and I would like to see if I can either grab the leech on my boot or one on the ground. With my free object yeah, you can grab the boot one. I'm, I'd be happy. Okay. Ah, ah, okay. I hear Barnabas' words. I think to myself. I look to the brain and I say, ah, I'm coming for you, you fuck! And I throw myself at this thing, crushing the leech in my hand, oh. and I cast uh, Draining Mist. Oh. And as I am throwing myself with the ship tumbling and moving at this brain, uh, when I get within 15 feet of it, the swirling red mist and gray mist will explode from me and any evil target that I choose, the brain, within 15 feet will, will be the target of my draining mist. Oh. Um, I would also argue that the leeches themselves could be targets in that spell. Okay. I'd like to fuck them up too. Then include them. <laughs> okay, I've included them. How does the, how does the spell work? Uh, I surround myself with sinister red mist that drains the life from my foes and feeds it to me. Each target of my choice within range takes 4d8 necrotic damage unless it succeeds on a constitution saving throw. Uh, and then I gain health five times for the the health to the number of targets up okay. 25 hit points. So there is a chance that he just won't take any damage. Yep. Um, but constitution saving throw. We'll see how it goes. The invulnerability shield being what it is does protect him from the spell, the magics of the draining mist spell that you are attempting to pull from him specifically. But you do see that all of the tadpoles around you at your feet struggle within the area of this effect that you have pulled. Um, what is the DC? Queen is also a foe. She's not. So she, uh, <laughs> you take 48 Necrotic. Well, actually, Barnabas is fucked. It actually doesn't say, so should it just be whatever my other DCs are? It would be your spell save DC, yeah. I would so just, 16. It's just a matter of what's the radius and uh, how many are inside the radius. 
Is it for the whole turn, or is it in one moment? It is just instantaneous. It's instant- instantaneous. So how many can he reach? Yeah, within, you know, 15 of me. Uh, I mean, you could literally get there and hit everybody. Yeah. Hit all of them. That's all of them. And I was attempting to hit the brain, yeah, though, too. Okay. That's 15. Okay. And then I'm still going to continue as far as my movement will take me, even if that makes me land on the force field, because I th- I'm throwing myself at this point. Yeah! But anyway. So you move here, cast the spell, and then finish your movement. Yeah. Do you have full movement? Yeah, I should. Yeah, now that he's at 18, Provided I golden. succeeded and yeah. I'm good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah you're good. So, if, yeah, so it's a, a constitution saving throw of 16. Uh, 16. How many? Oh, they're... they're you, you, it was all You crushed them. one, so I'm going to do the seven. I'm going to roll seven d20s. So yeah, one's you dead. You can remove uh, one. And how many? How many? Um, wow, that's garbage. Uh, 40. What is it? DC 16? 48. DC 16? DC 16 constitution. Okay. Oh, look at three that. fail, and I have Oof. one succeed. sexy. And then... Three more for the other seven, uh, and two succeed. So you can remove all but two of the tadpoles. Uh, how about just both on your own? Do they take uh, half damage, damage if they succeed? They don't. Oh, okay. They oh, take they no damage. Oh. Um, one point of damage is enough to kill one of these tadpoles. Okay. You were able, able to crush one in your hand, and as you were crushing it, you looked down for a brief moment, I would say, even in your jumping moment, you could see all of those tendrils reaching out for your face anytime it got you, you got really close <clears> to it. <throat> but you crush it. Um, it feels like... Um, Crunching in like an enchilada in, in between your laps, fingers, you said. and you race forward, and you are now at the uh, foot uh, where the floor meets the actual dome. This inv- and my face is like up against the exit. Your armor and shield. I'm like, ah! uh, how, how many were affected? Seven of them. No, I mean were oh. killed, affected. Two of them saved, so five, five of them were died. killed. I will gain full health, the, the full twenty-five. <laughs> So fucking cool! Wow, That's that actually kind of sounded like a like a howl too. That was pretty. Oh, yeah. cool. you Thank you there. for the, the, the big wolf sound effects. All right, good turn. Uh, that was important. Um, <laughs> Taishan, you're on deck. But before you oh. do, another legendary action from the <gasps> unbelievable conflict that's happening between this elder brain and the princess of wrath. She suddenly slams down violently against the boardwalk. Her legs and wings scrape and thrash out in all directions, but her head and neck seem anchored down by some invisible force, and you see the dragon's eyes go wild with rage. She forces herself up, only to be pushed down again and again, and rose-pink blood begins to seep out from her ears and mouth and eyes. Only through sheer force of will, it seems, does she break free from the telekinetic anchor, pinning her down, and the Princess of Wrath ultimately triumphs over the crushing force of yeah. Sophilus Psionics. She good. She's bleeding. She Tai Shen. Oh my god. god. Oh my god. Bleeding, bleeding, bleeding from her ears. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if he could do that, he could just crush us like gushers. Like one Beezleberry. Yeah, <laughs> 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 oh my god. People are watching this campaign who, not, who do not yeah, watch Witch Lighter. Zero like, what the fuck? Gotta watch all the shit. It's like, oh, it's like yeah. the MCU. You gotta watch the obscure Disney Plus shit to know what the fuck's okay, going on. Okay. Let's come, okay. Oh, um, man, I'll say see. as uh, as Scrim runs past with this baying hound snapping up all the... Uh, or, or killing all the tadpoles, uh, I'll say, Sophilith, you have wounded Drakkar! And she has sent her answer. Give up this madness, or or this ship will be your grave. Uh, and I'll try and reposition myself if I can get here. And that's gonna uh, be quoted to you in a month, and you're gonna say, I'm gonna say "Shit, that was a cool ass thing!" <laughs> wow, yeah, cold that's real ass hard, ass but yeah, cold ass motherfucker. <laughs> um, and uh, I will fire out a firebolt, uh, ideally like right just past Barnabas and try and help him break through to the oh. hexagonal armament below. <laughs> yep. Um, uh, and I, can I assume that I hit as well, or should uh, I roll? No, to last time I okay. had you roll because I wanted to make sure you didn't hit Barnabas, which would happen on a natural one. Five? I would say that hits. I just okay, want to make sure okay. you didn't hit Barnabas. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're firing like he's doing this, and Anything you're firing but a right over hits. his head yeah. to precision point. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm pretty, pretty good. I'm pretty good. Two I'm through twenty nice. hits. I'm kind of nice. Yeah. Oh, 16 Big money. points of fire damage. 16, all right. Fire damage. Um, 
That's the second time that it's been uh, heated by your spell, and uh, you even feel uh, that the um, metal underneath your uh, smashing anchor seems to be weakening uh, just a bit. Nicely done, Mr. Fire Blossom! Ha <laughs> 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 ha! Uh, is that the conclusion of your turn? Um, you have, yeah. you you are yeah. dazed, so you can do other things if you want to. I don't think I can do other things, to be honest with you. Um, so sure I don't have bonus action. I don't actually, right? No, I mean, probably, I don't know. Oh, okay. I was saying that would be a maze thing to believe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can, like, quicken a spell so you can cast the full action. Oh, I don't have any resources left. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 can Oh, yeah, yeah we're tapped out. Yeah. You do have four sorcery points left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I, but you, you can turn you can into... use a bonus action to convert... I'm done with my turn. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm done with my turn. Carry on, carry on. Carry on. <laughs> carry on. <laughs> it's right here, it's All right, right here. That's, that's uh, that's rolling dice, <laughs> Richie puppeting mace. Yes. <laughs> Another legendary <Lying>. action, then. <gasps> The Princess of Wrath spreads her wings once again and dashes forward up the entirety of the ship, landing at the eye of the port side just towards the rear. Her claws puncture the side of the nautiloid ship and you can hear the sound of rending metal dozens of feet below you. Her head turns this way and that, inspecting the ship. She glances inside the great circular window of the navigation deck just below you and you watch as she spies the artifact you know as the hexature armament fastened to the propulsion system on the oh, rear of the ship. Uh-oh. Cat. Oh, what happens if she eats the hexagon? How, hexagon how close is it? she to... She's, like, on the ship? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I could have probably it. had on the some outside. sort of a marker. So, yeah, if, yeah, if you fine. imagine a Star Destroyer, right? Like, what the hell is a Star yeah, Destroyer? Like, I get it. Fighting I'm, on, like, the big point, yeah, and it. now she's looking at the bridge. Yeah, you know, I get it. I would say she's, like, right here. She's gonna draw an arrow. When Derek answered, I got it. I'm explaining to you for... Do you get it? Wait, what's a Star Destroyer? I mean, who could have known? You only said you got it. Like, what's a Star Destroyer? I don't know what a Star Destroyer is. I just wanted to know if she's hanging on the uh, side of the ship. It's in Star Wars, Wars the big white oh, shapes. Oh, I like, know. Who can tell? Because yeah, yeah, yeah. when he said that she was on the side of the ship If you had said it's like 50 in, pod racers, I would have been like, oh. It was a little bit <laughs> unclear. It was unclear. It was unclear. <laughs> um, I was imagining that the scene from Pee Wee's Big Adventure <laughs> with Johnny and Ice Pitch Mad Mark. <laughs> 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 I don't know. Yeah. That's where I went. Hold up. Can we talk about how fucked up that was? Yeah, no, I have psych like, 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 a lot of things. It's supposed to be a tense moment, alright? I'm tense. Derek is upset right now, okay? That was Tim Burton, wasn't yeah. it? Like, yeah. Right? Yeah. But Wow, it's been so long. He I had that, that, that rich kid, kid mm. the chubby rich kid that had like the pool as his bathtub. And he was just in the pancakes. I remember very little. Whose turn is it, Derek? And then none on the Ross bike. Oh, turn. I just I just the oh, he oh, goes. What is dead. happening? Why? 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 What is a dragon? Uh, he casts blur on himself, and uh, he turns to Tai Shen. Um, uh, very good. Focus. Focus on on the other brain. Uh, we we will get him. We will get him. And um, oh. you feel this psionic bolstering. Oh. All of a sudden, mm. this. Uh, 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 I'm going to read it out loud. You may wonder who speaks um, to you You now. gain a psionic die, a D8. It's <gasps> basically a uh, bardic inspiration. Whoa. Oh, my, my, my. Every time you use it, you die. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's just how many One times you die. I was going to say that movie. That's a, that's a very large spoiler. <laughs> how, many, yeah. eight times. how many turns until you die? Yeah. Oh. Damn. Um, <laughs> my brain this entire time, out of my ear. Uh, you've been witnessing the, the dragon, focusing on what to do, feeling the power of this uh, dazed uh, effect uh, going through your body. This entire time, you've been the, the chaos uh, storm rages all around you, and it's absolute pandemonium. Um, when uh, you realize you haven't heard the voice of Sophleth. Uh, Sophleth is clearly doing everything it can to try and stop this dragon and has stopped oh. focusing on you. What would have been a, a, a straight fight has now transformed no, it with this been additional... would have been annihilation. An annihilation? No, it would not have been a straight fight with him. He would have annihilated us in one turn. Oh. 
We're very lucky that there's a dragon. Well, you do feel a little gratitude towards the Princess of Wrath at this time. When the ship makes a sudden turn. (laughs) This time, it turns neither left or right, but straight up, and you are all thrown back at the doorframe as Sophilus attempts to hurl the Princess of Wrath, doing a barrel roll from her perch. Everyone flies to the doorside, taking 1d6 for every 10 feet of movement. What? And the Princess of Wrath... But, but, the Princess of Wrath does not lose her powerful no, grip. she doesn't. She's a fucking bam. Wait, isn't this the front of the ship? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You're, so all, you're, you're all coming towards me. Oh, you're right. It'd be towards the back, right? Yeah! <laughs> I, I get more pressed We're going against down, the right? I say, mm-hmm. <laughs> I was thinking of the door side, but you're right. I had my my ship. But flipped. you keep saying the hex is your armaments at the rear of the ship. Well, where do you want us to go? Yeah, yeah. Right. right. Is, so we would be correct. going towards the front, which would be where Queen he, is. He he does this. Right. Yeah. And so this is the way. rear. Yeah. Oh, okay. We go this way. Then you all go that way. So uh, yes. Oh, okay. that's a far way to go. Uh, but I will say, um, so if you run into the brain, you would hit the brain. It is a giant fucking brain. You're not. Hmm? You're, already on. On you're already on so it. You're already on it. So you're gonna. Yes, I, 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 I am blasted to it, and I'm. <laughs> like, I'm doing Squirt. goblin things. Okay, I'm super into that. Um, Queenie does fly. Yornir flies. Yeah. Taishan flies. I would slam into Scrim. Do I kill him? Queenie slams into. Scrim. No, I have a little bit more hit. Flies I slam into Barnabas. You probably do damage to me. Uh, yeah, I don't think you outright kill How me. How many did I go? Uh, you win. Two. One, two, three. Oh, three. three. You might kill me if you have the density of a dark star. <laughs> is it one d six for every square? Yeah. Is that what it was last time? It was one. It's no, no. It's like falling damage. So it's every. Oh, every, every ten, 10 feet. feet. Oh, oh, so 10 just, feet. Every so round it down. So it's one d six. So, so Queenie would take one d six. Taishan would take. Mm, I would roll. I would oh, take God, one d six. I rolled already. That's ugly. That's rough. Your near gets fucked. That's not good. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Can I try to land on the leeches? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty um, smooth. Are That's they pretty all good. Make a straight dex, de- dex check. No, he had two on him. Mm. Oh, straight oh. dex? Yeah. 19, I think. I'll give it to you. <laughs> you, crush, you crush one. Yeah. Crush you crush one. the okay. one that was on your thigh. You like look down and you're like, maybe if I angle my body a certain... <laughs> Where should the rice go? Oh, fuck. It's all over here. No, I, I just moved one. And disappear. Anyway, I'll find it. Disappearing rice? My goodness. Uh, okay. Uh, so that happens. Um, that one that's right there on the edge of the paper. That was Sophila's turn. We're back at the top of the round. Mm. The Princess of Wrath scurries further up the side of the ship to more closely examine the Hexature armament, and you see her eyes widen with curiosity. She bends her head down in an instant and bites and wrenches the artifact free in one deft movement, <gasps> gripping the Hexature armament between her fangs like a cigar. Behind her, a brilliant blue fissure in the snowstorm sky emerges with a flash and a boom. The Princess of uh, Wrath releases the ship's <gasps> Pull from her grasp and gracefully falls backwards through the opening before it crashes closed. The Princess of Wrath has vanished. And just as suddenly as she arrived, the ancient white dragon is gone. And in the same moment, so too does the invulnerable shield protecting Sophilith pop out of existence. She didn't even bring us a bottle of wine or anything. <laughs> just gone. Crashed our party and then bounced. Yeah. Stole our hexagon wall, our room, and then bounced yeah, yeah, right off the wall. Had hoped to change you, and you can actually, in this emotionless voice, hear frustration for the first time, just in this slight stilted cadence of, of what Sophilith transmits to you now. To witness your transformation into powerful thralls, I am left now with no choice. The hexature armament must be retrieved, and there are plenty of humans below. This game is over. I am left with no other option than to destroy you so I can pursue my purpose. Such a waste. Sophilith begins to rise up out of the brine pool. You can see the liquid dripping down. You can see underneath it these writhing tentacles now. For the first time, these tendrils that uh, look like huge purple veins immediately begin to spread out and into the room. Oh, no. What an awful time to eat gnocchi. <laughs> <laughs> they look like little brains. A little bit, yeah. Queenie. 
Yeah. You're up. Oh, it's my turn. Oh, uh, when like, the what popping is the happened, everyone who was dazed is no longer dazed. That, oh, that seemed oh. to have dropped. We are on the brain. Um, You're definitely getting tentacled. I'm I am tentacled. going to move backwards. Oh, yeah, did, did the ship level the out wall? or anything? Like, it, it, it level, it's leveling out now. Okay. And I am going Jesus. to... Oh, ah! I, I'll take the rings. Uh, does it look like the fairy fire is affecting him, or was it only affecting him? It the maintains. Shield? I would say that he continu- uh, that Sophilith continues to be under the effect of fairy fire. I enjoy yeah, that golden. greatly. Um, as I will... Um... Andy. Okay. If you're going to be the keeper of the conditions. I, I am. I've been voluntold. Uh, I am then going to cast Fables. And I'm going to produce some Fables. Uh, 2d4 amounts of Fables. Ooh. Uh, five Fables. And I'm going to uh, take two of them and fire them immediately. Okay. Twenty. Twenty to hit. The first one is to twenty to hit. Mm-hmm. That hits. Hold on. Actually, how do I find my hit dice? I have to just make sure. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I got four more left. Okay. 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 Um, so, yeah, sorry, this is the first time I've, I'm using rip cord, Rift Cord and my Fables at the same time. Mm. Ooh, um, wobble, so, wobble, huh? the first wobble, bolt, wobble. because it is fired from my Rift Cord, <sighs> is going to do an additional die of damage. This is really hard to find a better way to do this. So, it will do 2d8. Is that thrill. a 2 or a 5? That's a 2. No, that would- uh, 16 points of force damage for the first Fable. Nice. Uh, um, I'm going to need to know the types of damage. Force. Force damage all? Yeah. Oh, okay. shit. That's yeah, it's force or psychic, and so it's definitely going to be force. <laughs> yeah, Why? Um, <laughs> it's not fair. Mama. You would know. 31. <laughs> for the... The next hit. The next hit does thirty-one points of damage. No, no, it's thirty-one to hit. Oh yeah, yeah, I got him. <laughs> no, no, you exceed the AC to such a degree that you then go back into failure territory for another ten points of damage. Okay, that's that's fine. Um, this damage, uh, what were they both force? All, yes. all of it was force. Okay. And then it's also going to do three more points of damage from my uh, uh, hunter's mark that's still on it. Okay, three more. Three more. Um, and then my bees are going to slide in and they are going to do nine more points what of the fuck? Uh, Jesus. poison damage. Piercing okay. damage. Piercing damage. Okay. That's not great for Sophila. He doesn't enjoy that one bit. Uh, piercing damage? Yeah. Oh, <clears throat> uh, it was nine points of piercing damage? Yeah. Okay. Okay, uh, you are delighted to find that a fleshy brain seems more sensitive to piercing damage than uh, normal uh, carapace or skin or uh, a creature might be. I love that. Love that for this brain. Okay, Uh, that does uh, your turn. And uh, with his first legendary uh, action, Sophileth will... Mm. Uh, Actually, one, of these, one of these tendrils. I'm is... sorry, Derek. Mm-hmm. Okay, good. No crits. I'm at advantage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, fire. Mm. Fire. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, for yeah, the their really? first legendary yeah. for action. Oh, spell attacks. Yeah. Uh, mm. Let us fucking go, I Brico. Remember, I need to remember how to play this game. Let me just make sure yeah, that I'm doing everything right. Kind of spells um, yeah, a tendril flies oh. out and uh, attempts to grip. Barnabas around the waist. Oh, shit. Um, that's oh. going to be a 21 to hit. That'll hit. Okay. Uh, you take... Advantage, too, right? The reckless last Yes. Time? Oh, I'll, so, I'll, so I'll, 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 I'll crit. Thank crit. you. Uh, okay, that was more. 24. Um, and that's going to be... I need to grab the correct dice now. Just one moment. That's going to be uh, very little damage. Uh, that'll be... 
Seven points of bludgeoning damage. All right. That'll be three. And you are grappled by the tendril as it wraps around you because it hits. And you are lifted <clears throat> up into the air by almost like an arm as it continues to lash around uh, 15 feet uh, into the actual uh, air. From, from the point that you've been trying to hit, you're pulled away and you suddenly realize that there's this uh, purple arm that's grasping you around the, <clears throat> around the belly. Uh, and that'll be your turn, actually. Uh- I would imagine as Barnabas is hammering away and Tai Shen, as, as the Princess of Wrath just tears into it, I'm right there, I guess. I would look at her and I would bow uh, like uh, very deeply and i say, I appreciate your services, your grace, as uh, she tears it out. Well, this that's what, oh, basically the, that would have happened uh, I, I, if, it, if it was any kind of moment where he could. Um, or basically being an awe, almost an awe and reverence for this thing that was basically trying to do the same thing that that uh, if he wasn't taken, I'm just saying that Barnabas kind of has a little thump thump. As he then gets gripped, uh, and he, he turns around and says, Oh, now you're out to fight, coward! You think this is the first tentacle I've been gripped by? You just saved me a leap! And I'm going to just lunge forward to stab Watched my, uh, to. my uh, harpoon into the brain. Okay. I don't need to recklessly attack because pollen. Pollen. I think that still hits. Oh, thank God for advantage. You probably plus eight, right? Uh, bu- 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 yeah, yes. I, I mean, I am. It is. I'm not plus eight. But... Yeah, plus eight. Yep. Plus so uh, seventeen. Different. Yeah. Seventeen uh, to hit. Yes, that hits. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. Tai Shen. Would you, you say Taishan is within five feet of Barnabas at this time? Oh, yeah. I, I mean, as the, if the I ship mean, was, goat he, was like climbing. I know I lifted him up and whatnot, but, like, generally speaking. I, I would have assumed, I mean, the ship was climbing, like, as I cascaded down, it's was probably, like, on Barnabas, probably, like, hanging on to him um, as, as the ship was climbing up in the air. Make intelligent saving throw, DC 18. <laughs> you can do it. No, I can't. Yes, you can. <laughs> Should we twist? Almost. We have twists. Yeah, give me, give me. Just give me two. Give me two. Yeah, I'm dumb as rocks. I'm giving you two. What does oh, that one say? 17. Let's fucking go. Is that enough? No, it's 18, right? Did he say Oh, I'm plus one! I'm plus one! At least plus one. Screw's got plus one. Okay, okay. we're good. We're Let's good. Go. Oh, I'm sweating. Intros. 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 Uh, uh, seeing the um, incoming attack of Barnabas being as as uh, uh, pointy and scary as I'm sure it would be to a giant soft brain like him, immediately tries to twist your brain and cause you to uh, compel yourself to jump in the into oh my the way. God. And you are only because of the psionic bolstering that uh, Kitch, uh, Ketch just gave you that you're able to steal yourself and realize that no, no, no why, why, why would you do that? But there was a moment. Oh, you may oh, not uh, for damage. Twenty-five. Oh, wait. Actually, yeah, 25 points of uh, piercing damage. Piercing damage, yeah. you are delighted to find that a sensitive, fleshy brain like this, <gasps> piercing damage, magical or no, does more damage than you would expect it to. Pop it like a balloon! Oh, I'm going in. I'm going in on this motherfucker. You go in and uh, you do a tremendous amount of damage. Is that the conclusion of your turn? That is the conclusion of my turn. I don't think I have anything else. You're in here. Um... I mean, he's oh, uh, he'll say, um, uh, Barnabas, stop, or I will crush you. Please continue. <laughs> <laughs> Be my guest, beastie. Please stop. <laughs> no, stop. Stop, Barnabas. No. Please do not do that. I don't care for any of this. Joke's on you. I'm in the... <laughs> <laughs> That's my thing. Uh, mm, is the, was, was there any... Damage to the wall at the back of the room when the Princess of Wrath bit from the artifact. Oh, or is our room still totally enclosed and there was no damage? Like, do we hear? It would be impo- No, you wouldn't hear any change in sound until uh, the hull was pierced. To your point, um, okay. but you do look down and where the hexatura armament uh, 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 was. There seems to be a tremendous amount of damage to however magically uh, this ship is propelled, and so there's like a bite out of the back of this orb that essentially is what has been turning this thing and making it do all these unbelievable maneuvers as you fly around the mountain. Uh, 
uh, well, well, thousands of feet now, perhaps, above Ogreton. Ogreton isn't even visible at this point. And uh, all you can see is the cracky uh, rock side, and looking at the propulsion system, um, what like are like lances of electric, almost ice, like lances of uh, arcing and magical energy. And it's all below us. It's all below you, about... Well, we can still see through the ship, right, to see the damage. It's still clear. Yeah. Yeah, you can see, you can all plainly and clearly see the amount of damage that um, the Princess of Wrath was able to deliver before uh, stealing the artifact and disappearing to who knows where. But we're still completely indoors. There is not a, I won't even make you roll for it, there is not a sign that there is an escape. I wasn't scene. able to uh, pierce through the hole just yet. Is it is it daytime or nighttime? It's, uh, I would oh. say it's like dead noon. It's like, that's the how there's light. The sun's at its zenith in yeah, the yeah, sky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you but were to get high enough. Oh, there's a if storm you were to get high enough. Yeah, 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 you're in, you're in <sighs> storm cloud town right now. Um, Sorry. I had to maintain game state. And also crush your dream. <laughs> <laughs> I will uh, see the storm raging around us. Oh. And, uh, can always count on you. I will yeah. say, Odin's kin... <sighs> Grant us the power of storms, and I'm going to raise my staff, and a thunder cloud will sort of roll into the hit room, the camera, and I hit the, the camera, the uh, <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. almost mimicking the storm outside. You hear thunder going on, and you hear galloping of hooves <gasps> very gently, with like kind of pairs of, of of legs, just just silhouettes as the lightning cracks, oh. and you hear a massive boom of thunder and a gigantic crack of lightning, almost colored like the Aurora Borealis itself, oh, uh, my God. strike down that's so on sick. the brain. Oh, and that's I cast so it at sick. a fourth level. Let's go. Oh. I have second level spells. What is that? What are you doing? <laughs> lightning sword. Yeah. That's so cool. It's a fourth level? Uh, I'm casting it at a fourth level. You oh, upcast dude. it? I have cast. You son of a bitch. You, well done. You rolled well. you be very glad like, that that's better than average. It's like fucking the two towers. The flashback when Gandalf smotes smokes oh. the fucking Balrog. I'll just I'll just very briefly say mechanically why that's fucking awesome is because if it had been third or lower, uh he would have redirected that. Oh you, no! you should have told us that. You should have told us that. They should not have told us that. God! Uh, let me just do the math. I think it's 25 points of damage. I'm imagining, like, Iroh on the cliffs in the, in the yeah. thunderstorm oh, yeah. where he, like, redirect. Boom! Uh, yeah, so 25 points of damage. Oh, Lightning damage. 25. Yep. I have to uh, actually well, get a he's calculator. A <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah, it hits so the pool of water so he's in, and it just, like. <laughs> 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 I still have PTSD. Yeah. Uh, actually, so my good. father is Frankenstein. I am his monster. <laughs> oh, um, no, it's too late. That's too late. Uh, that's fine. Um, you heal the Frankenstein for ninety-six points of damage. Uh, and then with my bonus action, I will. Uh, you over healed him. <laughs> that's what hurts. Okay. Uh, at the end of your turn, uh, he's going to use uh, two legendary actions to cast a spell. I need everyone to make a DC 18 intelligence save. Oh, there's for no him. way I spike this twice, right? Cast, um, slow. Oh, no! Um, give, me a, give me a two twists, please. Just straight. Oh! 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 Natural 20! Natural 20. Woo! Right, give go. me this... Two twists. Give me one twist. Give me one twist. There's no Let's way go. I like this. Right. That, that's I, how. I, I, well, no. Hey, if I did um, it, you can do it. No. T- twist it. We tw- twist I, it. I already called it. It is slow. Twist. I called uh, twist. Oh, I, yeah. I'll twist it once. Two. Twice. It's it, it's slow. Okay. I'm slow. Okay. I'm I, slow. I twist it okay. Twice for you. Uh, we'll get we'll get some slow. Thank you, chat. Here in a minute. What, we're Thank you, chat. A is it? In, in yeah. save. 19. Can you put that on Barnabas? He's he's still I'm grappled sorry. by the. Uh, oh yeah! yeah. Oh. Thank you, Shad. Thank you. Can you, oh, can, you can you give me a slow, Andy? Yes, I can. Uh, Twenty. Can you put a slow on Queenie, please? Let me grab two oh. slows. Um, I didn't have that real quick. You have my permission to roll three. three. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You, I know how to play. <laughs> it's gonna be. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's gonna say magic effect because there is no slow. Here's two. Cool. Oh, nice. Okay. Everybody else is good. What is what is slow do? Is it pretty? It's pretty fucking bad. It's not right? good. Slow it's is uh, one of my favorite spells. 
It does a lot of things. Is that you can only use an action or a bonus action, not both. Your AC is reduced by two. Your speed is halved. And if you try to cast a spell that takes an action, it takes like two turns. And you can't take the actions. <laughs> uh, if you attempt to cast a spell okay. with a casting time of one action, you roll a d20. On an 11 or higher, the spell doesn't take effect until your next turn. So you have a chance to cast Oh, in that's no problem for me. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't I don't roll higher than an 11 is what oh, I mean. Yeah, that's, that's, that's fair. That's fun. That's well, fun. I think Derek rolls. <laughs> oh. The caster rolls. Is it I on? Think. Is it on the condition? It, it, he he has to roll that. Does one. he? Yeah. It's not a condition. It's spell. Oh, I it's just, it the it's just I'm under. I'm under effect. Oh, I thought it's just, yeah, I've always read effect. it as you the roll. person who, if the creature attempts, yeah, yeah, you, you're right. The, it's caster, the caster rolls. Who rolls to see cool. if you get to cast I'll your roll. Spell. Oh wait, well I mean, I'm not the doing anything. Caster slow. You don't have to roll. Oh, yes, roll. that's true. It's not the person who is affected right. by and the that's spell. why you want to get. Correct. Yes. So yeah. who was slowed? Queenie and Taishan? Yes. Yeah. That's it. How do I get rid of this? Uh, you have a chance. You get to. You get to say. There's a saving throw. I think at the end Honestly, of every round. Honestly, of all the people no. who get affected by slow, it being Queenie is actually really beneficial yeah. because it doesn't. The only thing it affects me is I really can't use my bonus action because right. I get two attacks you, per action. So you I still both, get that. Right. Or does yeah. it reduce it to one attack. Uh, I one think attack. it reduces it to one attack. It shouldn't. No, it shouldn't. Um, unless it says. Unless it specifically I, says so. I don't remember. I don't. I, I don't believe you one. get one attack. I don't know. Still, I think I have. That Maybe spell, not. So let me try. You do of all the people spell. for this to affect, it's just like <laughs> the tadpole's turn. The one remaining tadpole in the corner tries to go for your near, and with a nineteen, I believe that you are grasped by the. T- uh, you might not even notice, but it's crawling up the back of your uh, your cape at this point. Yeah, it's it's crawling up yeah, the back. Yeah, regardless of the creature's abilities, it can't make more than one melee or ranged yeah. attack. Uh, mm. Um. Uh, that is enough. You are all going to die. <gasps> Scrim. Fuck, <laughs> we are. This hexature armament <clears throat> shell has vanished. That's right. Scrim face plants into this fleshy, disgusting <laughs> mess of right. a brain. That's right. It's like you fall into a um, uh, memory <coughs> foam uh, <laughs> mattress, but that's been like soaked in... Uh, okay, stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm eating Yoki. Uh, no, okay. it was just, just hit stop. by lightning. So. Uh, <laughs> bonus action, I hex place curse it. You had already done that. I don't think so. I remember very specifically. He told you at the beginning of the game that you had. Okay. I didn't mark it off here, but hey, if you don't want, you want to just give me that one, that's fine. <laughs> um, I will attack twice. As I am not affected by uh, slot. It's at advantage, so I'm going to roll all these d20s. Yeah. I'm looking for a 19 or a 20. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's a, a, a high 22 to hit. That hits. And a crit. Oh! Let's go! So I'm gonna roll a total of nine d fours, and one of them is gonna be Fury of the Small. So I will tell you how much damage. You want a few and the one I'm gonna roll the non-crit first because on the crit I get to re-roll as many of the d fours as I want, but I have to take the second. I remember it's delightful. It's so this is my non-crit. Even. Four, five, six, seven. It's gonna be seven plus three plus five, which is gonna be fifteen. Then these are the crits. I'm gonna keep all of those. Two, four, seven, plus three plus five, it's another fifteen. <clears throat> I'm gonna re-roll the ones. It's like a balloon and something bad happens for you! <laughs> Another seven. Seven plus three plus five, so that's gonna be uh, 45. Uh, 52 points of piercing damage. 52 points of piercing damage? Yeah, I rolled 15 every single attack. Every single damage attack. 52 points of piercing damage? Yeah, 15 times three is 45, plus seven for fear of the small is 52. And add your hexblade curse damage. Uh, I did. Oh, that's okay. all included. And is that all piercing damage? <laughs> yeah, yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes! <laughs> Blood, guts, and viscera, and bl- okay. brain is going everywhere. So you do 104. Oh my god! Because it's I'm covered in brain viscera. piercing damage, slashing damage, and uh, bludgeoning damage. All it's vulnerable to. I am completely covered. I need, in it, I need to get juice. a calculator out one minute. <laughs> oh my god! All right. Chris Crim's gonna take a nap. How's the brain looking? Uh, oh. terrible, actually. Oh, no. uh, it's looking really bad, and... I mean, all of our physical people all do piercing damage. 
Well, it's all, it's, I mean, he's vulnerable to all of that, right? I thought it was just piercing. Well, that's all we know of oh. thus far. I, don't I, I would say that done. it's bloodied. And because of okay. that, you hear this telepathic wail for the first time. <gasps> whales? You've heard, Not yeah. whales. <laughs> Uh, no, no, no. You hear a wail, a scream. What can only be the, the if, if a headache could yell in your mind. And uh, each creature within 60 feet must succeed on a DC 20 intelligence saving throw. I'm sorry, DC 18 uh, intelligence saving throw or be dazed. Okay. Does do slow impact me on a saving do throw? We have uh, enough to. Yes. I'm going to do two. Uh, DC's not effective. I got a natural twenty. Oh, Thank you. Scrim is the sh- smartest he's ever been, ever. I also got a natural twenty. Impossible! Yeah. Woo! Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> um, take you, out you one. Are somehow for, uh, able to resist. Take out two for me. Take out two for me. Oh, I am rolling. Twenty one. Like yeah. I, I'm rolling better tonight than I have been oh, in, really in, in right combat. Yeah. For, uh, thanks to twist. Yeah. I fail. Well, that's it. Well, these, these were straight up. Yeah. Um. Wow. <laughs> this went very. This turned around. Uh, all right. Um, <laughs> Bardemos <laughs> failed. Out of legendary action, so Taishan, you're up. Bardemos failed. Uh, so he's so what do I? I'm so slow. Can you daze token? Uh, uh, oh. Oh, he's, he's got also got something else. I'm on grappled. There. Yeah, he's I'm grappled. So, yeah, I'm grappled uh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Grappled. Is it? Well, there's. I was using restrain. Stunned. But... We'll use stunned. Oh yeah. Yes, yeah, that's perfect. Stunned is for days. Good enough. <clears throat> um, what do I do about slow? You make a DC 18 intelligence saving throw to endeavor to uh, throw it. Come on. Ah. Okay, okay. What does this thing do again? It's inspiration. It's inspiration. It's inspiration. What do I, can I just roll this? Yes. Didn't you use it to get the 17 up to the 18? No, I twist. just had plus one because I'm super smart. I think, oh. I think you twisted it. You were yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, if you haven't used your psionic eye, you can I roll haven't that used this now yet. and add it to the total. He needs a. I just need four. I just need four. Oh, oh boy, I love this. You need four, five, six, seven, eight. Plus one. I have plus one to this? What's your natural plus to the It's dive? plus one in intelligence. What's your modifier? Anyway, plus one? Yeah. So you're a 14 right now. Yeah. So you need four. four. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah. I can't. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You need four, five, six, seven, I or eight. That's the majority. That. That's the majority of the things. He's wicked schmack. Ah! It broke! Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay. I'd break the shackles of slow. The fates fucking hate Sophilith. You yeah. clash through, yeah. Apparently yeah. the fates are, yeah. are no yeah. longer pleased with Sophilith, and you are uh, Taishen again. You come back to uh, the Ugh. speed of the reality around you. Your success screams are one of my favorite things. I agree. I, just want you to know that. I agree. I'm jubilant. Uh, I'm jubilant. Makes us feeling jubilant. Miss next PC has done that. <laughs> 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 no, the next Mason next PC needs to have uh, guy fly Aries. Oh my god, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Well, you know. Well, you know. No, you know. I mean, I uh, I got a billion store, huh? Come on. <laughs> uh, hey, we're just wise. He's gonna be a wise guy, like a mobster. Yeah. He's gonna be like a, one of Gino's nephews. Yeah. <laughs> see, hey. see. Uh, For the next honey heist, that needs so, to be here. Never get me caught. Did would Tyson have the sense that he's looking like real bad, or like? I'd say he's bloodied. Bloody means under half health. Yeah, he, he he crossed a milestone in his health point arena. I'll cast Elemental Burst uh, at a level one. Ooh, at a one level. <gasps> okay. Uh, how does that work? Uh, may a ranged spell attack to hit on a successful hit, the target takes 1d8 piercing damage and 1d8 oh. fire damage. You also. Your piercing damage with uh-huh. a spell? Uh, yeah, so well, I got him first. Yeah. Plus seven. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's a three. It doesn't hit. Ooh. What's your plus? Seven. Seven. So it's a ten. So it's a ten. Okay. It doesn't. Should, it doesn't twist hit. It. I mean, uh, you could twist it if you wanted to. Oh no! No. no, 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 no. When Derek says it like that, don't do it. Get fucked! No, it is you who will be fucked. <laughs> Joke's no. on you! I, I do not like that. <laughs> Don't do that. 
Um, oh yeah, no, the damage that you're doing is causing this unbelievable weird effect in your mind where he'll be in the middle of a sentence, you are nothing compared to, I could crush you with the, th- the pinnacle of intellect and power in this world. Ooh. Wait, is it actually like <gasps> skipping in a Like in changing a channels. He's glitching yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's glitching out. Uh, Finish him. Cat must eat cat. Oh. Uh, Mr. Scene. <laughs> <laughs> we have him on the ropes. <laughs> go, go! And he uh, flies forward, and he will make. Yeah, uh, he's gonna make. Uh, he's gonna cast Zephyr Strike because that's a spell that exists in this game. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> yeah. Is this a limit break? Uh, yeah, he does a limit break. Um, <laughs> I uh, love limit break. He, 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 he carves a square into the air and then X's it off <laughs> before doing a backflip and jumping uh, jumping up. Hell um, yeah. Whoa, how is he fitting all of this into six seconds? <laughs> yeah. Look at yeah. him go! Uh, Cross slash! Uh, oh, he threw his bar up. That's how he did it. Are you serious? <laughs> Nine 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 nine. How much nine. is that? Uh, why do I not know my own? Okay, that hits. Oh yeah. yeah and that then he does it again. Do back foot, huh? And that, that also hits. About? So he's the going to do. Like, yeah, yeah, like what, what are you talking about? Final Fantasy VII. It was Limit Break and Final Fantasy VII. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, that's where it comes from, I believe. That's where it was the first time I did it. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Believe so. I thought they were. I don't think you're right. Isn't it six? I thought there were Limit Breaks before, but maybe. Let us know, chat. Um, I, if, I, th- I thought in five there was a limit break. The avarice and and That's excitement, a great word. the uh, uh, vengeance word. and fury in the eyes of uh, Ket are blind. To use another great word, by his together, graceful really. movement. Would you say they're as super blind? almost dances with this sword, slicing in and through, creating these huge gashes where you can see the brain just open up and immediately spill out blood. Uh, Even though the brain continues to levitate in the air just above this brine pool, you can see slashes carving into him like a turkey dinner. And uh, he will use his bonus action to... um, Turn to Queenie. Uh, you're no longer dazed or confused, are you? You can remove that token, Daishen. Um, uh, get yourself together. And uh, you feel the psionic die uh, that he used, um, uh, it, this bolstering, it happened in your mind. You feel that you are going to maybe have a better chance at. at Makes sense. Yeah. Uh, that'll be the conclusion of that turn. Oh, no, it's awful. Uh, and it's Sophilith. He's going to go Nova. What, Rich? Who, whose leg is that? What? Something shaking. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's Molly's it. are up in the yeah. air. It. I, gotta... I have restless leg syndrome, Rich. <laughs> I do. Yeah, actually. Thanks for laughing at it. <laughs> <laughs> Something funny happened to work earlier. I'm going to remember that the next time I saw laughing. Like, what are you laughing at? <laughs> it happened earlier. Don't worry about it. Uh, God, that's really It's good. unrelated to this that's, incident. It's uh, really funny. It's unrelated. Uh, <laughs> Tendrils lash out, two of them. One in the direction of Scrim. No. Um, no that's don't. going to be <laughs> I don't a accept. 21 to hit. Oh, that misses. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah. You got me. Yeah. <laughs> and you got me. It does uh, oh, 13 points of bludgeoning damage, and you are now grappled. That's it? <laughs> this guy sucks. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Literally so, so look, begging fate to I, just absolutely. No, I, so what I'm going to say is exactly what chat's been saying. The brain is not what we have to worry about. It's what's going to happen after we kill no, the brain. No, Nikki, how can that be true? <laughs> this thing no. did 13 points of damage to you. On That's what I'm saying. Brain. This is like, this is we soft, Derek. I'm not impressed. You're near. Natural 20. <laughs> you are going to take... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you're going to um, take 16 actually, points of I'm bludgeoning damage. 16? Yes, and you are also grappled with that yeah. grappling Make sure you succeed your concentration, on... please. Andy? What are you concentrating on? Can you be the, on? the guy? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we're, tenta- oh, we're tentacling your near cool. at this time. Um, I would be honored to tentacle your near. Both of them. I pass. Oh. Oh, you don't even know concentration. Damage. Concentration. Uh, yeah, you said. You much? said 17, 16. I think. Or 16. On know. a crit? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
and <laughs> um, the ship yeah. turns, but it doesn't. It doesn't <laughs> slam down. It doesn't fly this in a direction that down. would immediately make momentum change for you. The way that he's been <laughs> intentionally, rudely, fl- like splattering you against the walls and 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 ceiling of this uh, uh, enclosed space. Um, but he does start to turn, and you can feel it shifting and moving again. It still has that turbulence. The entire left side of the front of the ship having been frozen and torn away by the uh, massive scream. Uh, the uh, the blast of you know what the fuck? I'm not laughing at you. It's something happened to work earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we're all thinking. I'm just gonna say it. Shuffle. It's a little bit of a bitch. <laughs> you may think me a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but we're turning this ship back to Ogreton now. You shut Let's your see mouth. We're how you feel around. when you are facing thousands of mind control ogres, and he, you can feel that you, you, you're beginning to descend back now That's towards right Ogreton. Uh, <laughs> and in that moment, all of the um, lashes that are connected to somebody yeah. pulse with psychic energy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. So those are. We're grappled. Yep. You are. Yeah. You are. If you are grappled, yeah, psychic so energy grappled. courses yeah. through them right. and essentially races through your body, doing an additional eleven points of psychic damage to Yornir, Scrim, and Barnabas. Derek, I was just kidding. You know, it wasn't. This is a very, very challenging fight. You don't have to. Um, you don't have just to be cool, this. man. Just be yeah, cool. Just, yeah. just chill out. <laughs> and, and, right. and I am going to roll a d6. Okay. Just like a dragon's breath weapon, uh, he gets a recharge of that mind obliteration ability oh, that he was able to use. Cool. <laughs> That's nice. Cool. And he gets what? a f- like, five. I'm doing my best. Um, That's the conclusion of Sophlet's turn. Uh, he's still doing okay here. Uh, everything's looking good here. Uh, it's the top of the round. Um, I'm going to say that we take a quick coffee break. Right here. Right. Oh Ugh. god, my heart's racing. I can use the whole goblin. Uh, what's even happening? Gosh. Um, we're, we're at the top, the top of the round. round. Yes. <sighs> D- Try should we just roll for Queenie, or should we... Roll for Queenie? Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to decide if I should run Queenie. I've got her character sheet here. Oh, or if that is perfect. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think perfect. that's perfect. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Um, Especially if you have all the sheets. I will... <laughs> it's easier. Uh, yeah, I've, do the voice I've got, God, I've got the character sheets here. Uh, so... Uh, Queenie is continued to be slowed, so she'll have to deal with that mechanically. Oh, and yeah. at the top of the round, uh, we're going to have what I believe is called a lair action. Gosh. Um, <laughs> I mean, you don't have to. You can just skip over it. Mm. I really didn't mean all those mean things I said about your boss <laughs> fight, Derek. I didn't mean it when I said Sophila was a little bitch. I never said those words. <laughs> that never came out of my mouth. I plead the fist. You thought him, though, and he can hear you. No! <laughs> Uh, you may choose. You may make an intelligent saving throw against Sophilus, saving throw, uh, uh, saving DC, uh, or, and if you fail, have disadvantage on ability checks, attack rolls, and saving throws. Jesus. But, or? <laughs> but, when you make those rolls, you can take one psychic damage to increase by one if you need to. So, like, as an example, if you roll a 15, you could take three and go up to, to 18, and, and just by the very merit of pushing through sheer willpower style. That's option one. But that's only if we fail the Only if you fail the in-check. Okay. In, in-check or one point per... Is it, all, in- is it all 18 again? Y- yes, these are okay. all DC 18, and so you have the choice. You make the in-check and nothing, or a disadvantage on all abilities, but you have the ability to get up to the DC if you want to make up the difference in psychic damage. Or, or you just take a flat 3D6 psychic damage right now. Oh, God. I have statistically beaten this so many times, I think it's foolish for me to try again. That's what a quit a loser <laughs> says. Scrim! Yeah. Yeah. Scrim would <laughs> never <laughs> back down from a gamble, my friends. I'm taking the in- roll. <laughs> you got this? <laughs> you can miss this. I got I'm a, on a hot streak. I got a seven. <laughs> okay, so you're going to be in the strange disadvantage round of psychic ah, damage. No, no, as, you my are, brain. Uh, as your mind is suppressed by Sophilith, who is clearly losing what 
uh, an eldritch creature of this kind's patience would be. So disadvantage on skill checks only. Uh, no, uh, skill checks, everything. attack rolls, and oh, saving throws. Shit. Huh. Is it too late for me to change one mind? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Damn it. Attack rolls. Yornir, what does Yornir choose as this mind suppression effect immediately waves and washes over you? Can you restate it as one more time, the trade off? Uh, yes, you get a DC 18 te- uh, intelligence saving throw. If you succeed, nothing happens. If you fail, you get essentially exhaustion three, where you have disadvantage on all ability checks, attacks, and saving throws. Yep. But you can make up the difference That's with psychic damage. damage. One point per extra point in the skill Or check. you just take a flat 3d6 right now. Yeah, we're taking a flat 3d6 right now. Oh, I'll just... Let's roll. <gasps> yeah, 20... oh, 20 21. Oh, 21? Nice. God. Oh, I would I, tighten, yeah, I tighten up my insides there. a little bit. I got goosebumps. 21. Okay. Did you see it like... Yeah. Yeah, it was literally <laughs> almost like a... Oh, <laughs> that yeah, 10, 10, 10, 10, that was it, a little it, greasy. It, it, it hit, hit this, and then it... Back to okay, Barnabas, what are you thinking in terms of your choices here? As you, as you sort of get to pocket this uh, sensation that Sophilus sprays out in all directions into one corner of your I'm mind. I'm going to save this option. So that's to roll. That's to take 3d6. I'm, I'm taking 3d6. 3D6? The safest option is to take the 3d6. I'm going to take yeah. the 3d6. Provided you roll low. If you roll really high and take 18 points of damage, there's a chance that you're taking much more up front. No, I'm spot. rolling the psychic damage. Yep. yep. It, I would you, like are to you, also. Are you just, resistant to it? No, but I still. I still think that's safe. If you want to do it, if you want to do them separately, you can. I will do them separately. Here's okay, the thing. okay. Keep going. Here's the thing. Because if you're like low in, and I'll you have to make damage. up that you're going to take like seven points right up the off the bat. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. and then you're going to take keep twelve doing it. psychic damage. Okay. All right. That Remember was a little high. Him. Yeah, uh, Taishan. That was that was me rolling for you, Taishan. Oh. Are you taking the psychic damage? I'm also? taking it as well. Okay, yeah. I am giving you. Um. Oh, uh, seven. Seven. See, that's pretty good. You got away very. That's good. Twelve's a little high. It's over half. It's over half. But here's the thing: if you roll like a three on a must make in saving throw, well, right. you're taking like fifteen up front. That's the. Ch- it's already so hard to hit right. the in saves right. that if I had disadvantage on every one, I'd never pass it. Trust again. me, Andy yeah. knew what he wanted to do. Yeah. Scrim's an idiot. Queenie yeah. is up. She is going to attack twice. Uh, that's going to be um, well. If you add those two together, it'd be a natural twenty. Uh, <laughs> but she hits uh, once, and then she hits. She's slow. Uh, second yeah, time. Yeah, she's, she's slow. Uh, so just one attack. Oh, only one attack. Yep. Only one attack. Yep. She's slow. Yep. Yep. Okay, yep. so the first she hits with the first one, and she will do two, uh, four, because it's going to be force damage now, and that's going to look like un momento. I am learning how to be a ranger. Oh, did we thank folks? We we did. Oh, we, we did. That. We'll, we'll oh, get it's one d eight. Very cool. I didn't realize that. Okay. And the icebound challenges. That's going to be seven Frosty 13 nits. points of piercing damage, nits? which is twenty six. She yeah. does twenty six points nits. of piercing damage Everyone to the vulnerable, vulnerable the brain, <laughs> getting oh, us to that, that level. And uh, she's slowed, so she can only attack, and her speed mo- uh, is half. Or she gets a saving throw. Oh, she gets a saving throw. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, she does not easy. succeed, unfortunately, but mm. uh, she is going to use her mo- half movement to move back, um, and her speed is 35, so move her back 15 feet. Yeah, yeah, that's she'll, ba- she'll back up right this there. Is, this is stopped, right? Yeah, is this a doorway? The, yeah, the door is, the portal is held yeah, 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 by yeah, some yeah. magical yeah. force, let's say. Cool, so that's as far back as she can go. Uh, that's as far back as she goes, uh, as she uh, it takes another, slowly takes another arrow out of her quiver and says something um, excellent and queenie-like. Uh, that'll be the conclusion of her turn, and... Barnabas. It's just like stomping grapes and wine season. <laughs> that is a- wow, that's pretty good. Uh, yeah. Barnabas, you're up. I am just going to say, uh, you should have dropped me. Now I'm even closer. And I'm just going to keep, uh, I'm, I'm dazed, but I can just take damage and just, I'm going to just keep taking damage and go ham, right? You yeah, get the- one free action. And then for every action after that, you take one. So I don't need to move. I just want to but fucking you, smack you the shit chance, out of You have a chance. You get to roll the saving throw first. Oh. And then saving throw. I fail. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to roll. Uh, I'm going to attack twice. Okay. Yikes. Okay, okay. that's, that's mm. a hit. Second mm-hmm. attack. It's okay. also pollinated, too. So. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 
Okay, both will That's hit. Definitely, yeah. And I'm going to do uh, Ooh, as the first attack comes in. Yeah. Um, Taishan, you feel another uh, prick in your mind. Oh boy. I need you to make a intelligence saving throw. But it's not a disadvantage, so there you go. <laughs> I have to hit an eight. You can do it. Don't roll, big. Don't roll yet. It bros. Fourteen. Damn it. Can I twist twice? Yes. You needed a ten in front of that. <laughs> Come on, one more. One, one more. more. One more. <laughs> Nope. One shot. Nope. Nope. One shot. I was excited for a second by the sounds of the screen. Uh, that was the that was the good note. You um, shouldn't use the good note when it's bad. Note. Yeah. Done this um, your first attack will hit Taishen because Taishen. Wait. Shen. What did you roll for the hit? Uh. It was a sixteen. It was plus 16. Whatever your, Yeah. It was. Yeah. It was a yeah, lot. Twenty something something. Uh. It's pretty cool. It's kind of like when you go to the doctor and they do the the, the reflex decks. All yeah. of a sudden you just. A jump in front of you are compelled by this psychic push, uh, and you are jumping in front of an anchor swinging down. So the da- first damage, but the second will attack. Uh, you gotta soar with the evils. <laughs> uh, Eleven points of piercing. Oh, 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 Mr. Fire Blossom, what are you doing? Oh, 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 I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> oh, you're a mad lad. <laughs> and then you crunch into the brain. Uh, so then that'll actually that does that hit. What? So it does hit, but is it hit? hit is anyone else going to jump in front of my anchor? Uh, and is there anyone within five feet? No, no, no. no. He's already. Okay. You know, okay. No. Uh, so that the would first be, one hits uh, the second one. Will fifteen happen. points of piercing damage. Fifteen points of piercing damage. <sighs> if it pleases the DM, <laughs> it does not please the DM. No, no, no. Well, it doesn't please us. Uh, it, it, it pleases Derek. Um, and that's the conclusion of your turn. Is it? That's all I can do. <sighs> uh, Scrim, Yornir, and Barnabas are still. Grappled. Grappled. Uh, he's going to use another psychic lash, and you are um, all struck by uh, eleven points of psychic damage as the tendrils um, once again energize as he's trying to uh, squeeze the life out of you through the psionic energy that courses through these veiny tendrils. Yikes. Um, okay, that hurt. I didn't feel good. No. Um, <laughs> I, I don't care for it. It's uh, very good. I gained well, 20. I like That's it. all I'm going to say. I, like I don't yeah. care for yeah. one bit. And I'm trying it. I don't like it. some yeah. stuff. He'll say, um, you think you can defeat me? You are all fools. You're near. You're up. Uh, once again, I will raise my staff oh, up and slam God. it on the ground. And as it hits the, the floor, <laughs> another crack of lightning will come down. And Thunder. Electric. Uh, 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 Okay. Thunder. Oh, what level of spell is this? Uh, Thunder. What level spell is this? Uh, Four. It's still the same spell. Yeah, I'm get holding wrecked. It's a concentration spell. I don't want to do it. Oh, it's a concentration, <laughs> it's a concentration spell? spell? And I had a layer action called Shatter Concentration. Oh, this is horse shit. Well, yeah. yeah it's I didn't realize it was concentration. Up, so Fuck. Would you like to heal me 11 points and do that instead? No, you can't. <laughs> You've already done it. <laughs> Touch piece, move piece, yeah, no, Derek. No, no, lightning it up. <laughs> Got um, it. I wonder, does him being in a, uh, or it being in this, like, pool, or mm-hmm. is he floating above the pool entirely? The b- brain is largely left the pool, okay. and, like, only, like, drips are, like, uh, the, the foot and a half or so between, you know, it's the okay. two, two American footballs away from the <laughs> top of the brain. I was hoping it could be, like, Bioshock when I'm trying to save ammo, and you, like, just shoot once, and you run away to a puddle, and then you, like, lightning plasma it. You know? yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a classic move. Classic. Uh, oh, deck saving throw. I, I don't know if you can dodge a lightning bolt, but... <laughs> I mean, his dex is pretty bad. Oh my god. Pretty good. Um, okay. Um, no, I am a very th- agile brain. You're rolling hot fire. Oh, wait, I play Wordle and do Duolingo. Yeah. What happens if I succeed? Uh, I think half, half. I think you get no damage. I think it's kind of get fucked. Maybe not. I think it's half. Oh. But I could be wrong. Oh, that's how it was. Unless the, the brain, spell I use... Unless the brain is a rogue. <laughs> 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 He evades. <laughs> He's fast. Uh, <laughs> yeah, half as much on, on a success. I'm going to take half as much. Oh, okay. there he manages to resist, having learned his lesson the first time. Uh, it feels this lightning blast come and uh, and hardens itself for a moment, and you notice that it does less uh, damage um, than you would expect. So instead of thirty, he will take uh, fifty. Sophilith may not be a Frankenstein, but he is a brain, and brains are powered on electricity, so he does heal when his little neurons Oh, that's a great idea! Shit. I mean, I wasn't a- no, I'm kidding. I'm I'm a shambling elder brain now. How does Scrim look? Um... Fucked up. 
I would say he's not like actively bleeding, but he looks beat up. He looks tired. You can tell that he's a little, he's breathing heavy. He's a little slower than normal. Then, uh, I'm not like, he's not like actively bleeding, but he, he looks a little, he looks a little beat up. I will cast healing word as a bonus action. Uh, with my, yeah, I guess my, with my available bonus action, uh, I will say, take this reju- rejuvenation and, uh, I don't know. Rejuvenation is the word. Oh, Thank you. if you were interested at all. How much psychic damage did I do? That wasn't to Queenie, was it? Oh, okay, no, we're gonna, no. We're gonna. If you're interested, Barnabas has created a kebab, a Taishan kebab, and as it appears. Oh, oh yeah. Brain. Oh, no. Yeah. I'm saying, yeah. It's, yeah. Just put, it yeah. is a delicacy <laughs> in some parts of the mantras. <laughs> Dragonborn <laughs> and Elder Brain. <laughs> Dragon bon bon good. <laughs> That's a turn. Uh, and I'm restrained. Can I do anything to get out of it, or would that be an action? Um, yeah, it's a classic grapple. Uh, the DC is much lower because it's based on well, its strength. I use my action already, so I'll just heal. So it's I use it at a third level, so I guess it's three D four. Yeah, it's three D four. You heal four. Big and money, four. Max. Good God. Oh. Uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That's huge. Healing. That's that's massive. Oh, okay. after impaling Taisha, I just thought of this thing. Why are you trying to turn yourself into Dracoyaki? <laughs> well played. <laughs> that's that's okay. pretty good. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> that have, that's canon now. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's quite good. Quite good. Um, singular tadpole. A singular tadpole oh, crawling near. up Yorn's very boots. slowly. Yornir's cape. And oh, his cape. I <gasps> will now roll. He won't be able to feel that. What's your AC? Uh, my AC is 16. Um, do you have a very strange sensation? As Uh-oh. you are looking forward, you are summoning this lightning that's, oh. that's happening. You are watching everyone else race around and uh, you feel a squeezing uh, uh, a hug of this tendril around you when all of a sudden it's like something in uh, uh, goes out of your ear. It's like almost uh, covered, almost like as if just that one ear is uh, underwater for a moment. When you oh, feel no. this invasive feeling of tendrils start to scrape and go into your actual ear hole and what was this tadpole squeezes and pushes through this. into your ear and you realize with a clasp against the side of your face too late that this tadpole has entered into your skull Ooh. this is so bad I've made an enormous mistake <laughs> this is really bad. your ear and Richie forgot about the worm on him of the, the tadpole so Oh no! I don't know how we well, solved that problem. You even said last round you were like, "Oh, with everything going on, I don't even, I don't even remember it. Yeah. Like, I don't even recognize it." Yeah. Your the round ear, yeah, the sound comes rushing back to your ear, and suddenly you can hear the screams of your friends, uh, the, the 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 sound of the cacophony around you, the battle. But for uh, that brief moment, a painful, sharp, piercing feeling gone. Where whatever it was crept crept up your back, as and is now somewhere inside of your head. I don't like that. It's a good thing you guys killed the rest. I mean, it's oh going to be God. really disgusting for, very quickly. How do you... What a nightmare. Uh, do you have any uh, restoration? Um, <laughs> scrim. Uh, I'm grappled by the brain, um, but am I still within stabbing distance? He hasn't moved me. Uh, I would say, Ivan, uh, have you been using your reach to attack? Uh... Or have you just been uh, I mean, I away? have the reach, but it doesn't. It does. I haven't yeah, been using you're, it. You're held right next yeah. to it. You'd be able to swing forward and get it with the edge of your this blade. Is still affected by fairy fire. Yes, yes, I'm it is. I'm making two more attacks. Please do. Uh, but my attacks are disadvantage. So it's just straight. So it's straight up. Yeah. Fuck. I'll just roll two dice this time instead of four. Just like. They're both going to hit, but I didn't get any crits. The lowest one is a uh, 21 to hit. That hits? Wow. All right. Wow, those were both Wait, is Fairy Fire still on? But I'm just Oh, sorry. sorry. So I'll just make two attacks. Bangle, shmangle. Skill check attack, roll saving throws. Yeah, okay. It's pretty good. pretty fucking good. That's going to be 8 plus 3 plus 5. 8 plus 3 plus 5 is is, uh, 17. Six, sixty. Did that sound like money from ABBA? Yes. Well, that's literally, that's, yes. That's <laughs> <I do>. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Uh, 
29 total points of damage between two attacks. Oh, wow. Um, it's... So that's... Oh, yeah! Oh, wow. Okay. Um, so Samroth joined the Abba. He's starting to look rough. Uh, you're slashing into him, and uh, flaps are starting to hang down from the fa- the, the what face there is of the Elder Brain. You can see the damage being done by all of your companion. Um... The, the, the ripples of brain matter being what they are feel like rivers going down a mountain filled with blood gushing down and <clears throat> spilling into the green bright uh, uh, neon green of this brine pool and creating like upside down clouds almost as they splash and, and, and drip that's my whole turn I st- I'm just stabbing the shit out of this thing um I will Do animals have a smaller thing? Is that what I'm saying? Your tendril lashes out at you. At me? At you. That's right. And it's not even going to come close. You managed to dodge out of the way. Uh, Your wit's now about you as you are um, uh, injured by uh, Barnabas' attack and the strange uh, impulse that suddenly came over you. There's, we've established there's no sun out, right? There's no sun. Okay, okay. Um, <clears throat> it is daytime, but it is the equivalent of overcast, and you are, if you had gotten high enough above the clouds, certainly there would be sun above, because it is that time of day, high noon, let's say, but it, it is now descending now, and you are watching the front of the ship uh, snow flurrying forward as you are heading what presumably uh, back towards Ogreton. To quote the legendary Captain Brazy the Cutlass Crash. <laughs> I think he means get fucked. False <laughs> <laughs> well, well well Yeah. He just used slightly more words. Um I I look towards Sophilith and I pull my my right fist back and at its at right at the knuckles it an orb of flame. Uh, pools together, wrapped in uh, in wind and and force, uh, and I pull it back and say, "We gave you so many chances, and now you can never go home." And as I'm about to strike out with uh, an elemental burst, and and I say, "You can never go home," uh, I get flashes of who he was before Soft left. I get flashes of what they did to him. Flashes of maybe the millennia of time from where he was, where he is now, uh, and I think of home. And as the red hot flame uh, burns at my fist, when I would normally punch it out, I slowly extend, it turns gold. (gasps) And the head of of a serpentine dragon forms as it extends out from my fist it moves slowly towards him, jaws open, and I cash banishment. Oh! Oh! It's like Chang Wu Fei. Oh, it is like Chang Wu Fei! <laughs> From the 1994 series, Gundam Win! <laughs> oh! <laughs> you, you caused the Derek a thing. Which is a charisma save. Honor and battles, and I will defeat you! And battles! Holy shit. What it, What are the implications of this? Is a charisma save 15? Should you decide to do he so? He has a resistance left, so he Should he it. decide to do so? He's the almighty Derek, okay. If the target is native to a different plane of existence than the one we are on... It is banished and returns to its home plane. Uh, his wisdom saving throw um, is plus eight. Well, it's charisma. Oh, it's charisma. It's plus four. Oh, well, it's pretty good. Well, he, he rolled a five. <gasps> I'm going to use a twist <gasps> oh, threat. Thank God. It's a lot of fun, right? It's just, it's a threat. It's, it's a threat. Oh! It's another five. <laughs> it's fate. <laughs> I'm going to ignore this. Yeah. <laughs> you are all desperate in these final motions. What is clearly the 
Actually, you know what? Wow. I have think I have things to say. Uh, Manchester. You are all speeding towards uh, victory. Uh, uh, feeling on the edge of, and despite all that's happening around you, all of the the, the crushing um, uh, psychic damage that you're taking, uh, these tendrils uh, grappling onto you, the experience that you just had, uh, uh, your near as a uh, uh, something alien entered your mind. Um, you are all hurting, and uh, you watch as Taishan's energy punches forward, and it consumes. Sophilith, how would you like to do this? <sighs> I, in, instead of punching out with my fist, I'd like to slowly extend it and open to an open palm as the dragon rushes forth from it. Its jaws unfurl as it swirls around, loops up, and then crashes its, uh, closes its its maw around Sophilith, and it would explode into gold flame and... He would be banished to his home plane. Nothing but sparkling. What was sort of yellow pollen glow from Queenie's uh, uh, fairy fire. Uh, the disgusting ichor that was dripping down. There is no moment of dropping where it splashes into the brine dramatically and then uh, uh, drops. Instead, uh, this maw captures uh, and passes almost through Sophilith and blinking for a moment, looking through this golden light, you realize... Sophilith is gone. The reverberating sound in your mind, this, lang- uh, this, this speech that bubbled up from the surface of your, of your memories is it, it, it gone instantly. There, it, there's not even a pop or a satisfying vacuum sound that, uh, uh, of, of something suddenly not being there or not. Whatever Taishan has done has instead taken Sophilith, Sophilith away. <laughs> I have so many thoughts. Oh my this god. This is this has Oh happened. he learned from the bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, let me shake your hands! <laughs> <laughs> um, the three of you who are grappled drop to the floor, really crunching into the ground, and you are uh, suddenly uh, uh, land, um, and uh, all is quiet. Um, the uh, uh, spells, any any uh, confusion or dazedness in your mind, also leaves with Sophilith, the elder brain, going to some other world, some other place, some impossible place, and you can see Cat, turn. What, what, what has happened? What has happened? Uh, this is some kind of trick. Uh, where did he go? What did you do to kill him? Is it destroyed? No. I sent him home. Separated from the ship. I sent him back from where he was made. You did what? I banished him from this plane. I, I, what does that mean? Is, is, is it still alive? Is it, is it going to die? I mean, it was in pretty rough shape. We were so close! We were so close to victory! Is it not destroyed? Is that's not how it works? Can it survive out of the vat? I don't know. I don't know. I just... I was ready to to strike him down, and... I just kept thinking of everything he'd been through. I couldn't... I couldn't stop. I could see it in my head the moment when they changed him, when he had no choice. When they took everything there was from him. Like they did to your family, Ket. And I sent him home. I mean, what happens next? Can can it just come back? I mean... V- v- yes, it, 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 it'll be back, yes? I've never cast this spell before. It's it's new to me. I, 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 I don't I, know. I've never... You've never done this before? And you chose now to test out something like that? I've never done a lot of things before. Oh, Tai Shen, of you... all the boneheaded shit you've pulled in the last three months. I'm going to say it looked dead to me. He was consumed in golden dragon's fire, 
And I don't think he can survive that, right, Mr. Fire Blossom? If he dies, he deserves to die at home. Not in a distant land. Filled with ice and death and horror. It deserves nothing. Ah. Oh. Oh, I can't believe what I'm hearing. I can't believe this. Come on. All right, Yorna, come on. Give us some rune action here. Tell us what... Wheeler, whoa, give us something. Come on. No. What's going to happen? No. You feel? And you feel this shifting oh, feeling no. under under your feet. And it's turning. There's a sound that's starting to get louder and louder all around you. And this ship has no pilot. Don't you understand? Don't you understand? We're in free fall! Well, can, can, can you pilot it? Aren't you special mind powers guy? There's no controls here. There's no way for me to control the ship. So this is it. This is how we all die. What was your plan? No, we're not dying here. To die? Your plan was to die? To, to get vengeance for my people? To avenge my son? Ah! Ah! The, the, the Arthacon! The what? Excuse me, come again! The Arthacon in, 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 in the, 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 the bottom line, the, the lowest level, the, the, the ship, the escape pod! The escape pods. <laughs> Can you fly those? Fly, yes! Land, no! <laughs> Let us go right away. Can we just let the ship crash into the ground? Or are we hurtling towards everyone? Are you don't have to say you may. Mr. Fire Blossom? I live to see another day. Any hope of that, you certainly set that out the fucking window. We are going to have a long discussion about who deserves to die where and fucking how. While Barnabas is yelling at Tai Shen, you just hear Scrim's feet running for the this gate pod. I fucking take off. <laughs> you race forward and there's a <laughs> drop because you you. Uh, 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 my apologies. There's a sealed door behind you. <laughs> oh, so you actually hear pop, 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 bang, 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 bang as I'm like trying to bang on the you door. You start to do this and you realize whatever had been sealing that it's going to take some effort to move out of the out way. Out of my way, Scrim! I'm just gonna, I'm literally gonna smack you out of the way. Ah! <laughs> God damn it! Ah! As I uh, will put both of my hands and then all of the crab legs, this is your flavor, all oh, of sure. my crab legs uh, will then start to I shift as it. my legs will reform as they'll shift up to my back and then they'll all go uh, in and I'm just gonna just, uh, I will not let a door be the death of me, not this day. You carry an anchor as a weapon, you're not even gonna need to roll for it, you slide them apart and you all see uh, 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 going down uh, the the same ladder that you ascended, the bridge, uh, going down to the, uh, to the next lowest floor. You start to make your way down there. It is starting to, you can hear this sound all around you reverberate, and the turbulence is terrible. Uh, I need everyone to tell me how they are getting to the bo- uh, lowest floor to the Orthocone as quickly as possible. Is the ship doing this? It feels, it feels like it's doing a little of, uh, let me just see if I can do this this like it is oh. it is it is starting to go down oh, but it's not going down like God. this it oh, is going that's... down so it's, it's like a helicopter oh, no. like a helicopter crashing like a helicopter oh, crashing perfect ex- uh, anachronism yes <laughs> um, <laughs> Barnabas, uh, you've got these uh, crab legs, certainly. Uh, uh, how are you making your way? Uh, uh, what do you do to get down to the Orthocone as quickly as possible? I would say, who is weak and who needs a hand? Grab onto me. We'll scuttle on down as quickly as possible. And I'll basically call out to grab whoever's looking weak and needs help to basically just grab them and drag them down as I'm scuttling. I'll then... I'll using another... Uh, uh, basically, uh, going back to my legs and just, or actually, no, just from my back because okay. I'm just going as quickly as possible okay. and scuttling down and taking whoever I can along the walls, whatever I can do, trying to remember exactly where it was. Uh, Ket is well ahead of you. Um, he is actually able to, uh, and he had not been using this ability, but uh, step. Uh, uh, he, you see him shift and, and blast forward and then run another couple steps and then start to do a flip and then disappear down a, a ladder and land safely and make his way. Uh, he's very graceful in these movements. Taishan, 
How are you keeping up? Uh, I would go with Barnabas if I'll have one. I jump onto his back or whatever, wherever the, wherever the crab lay. Are they off your back right so, now? Yeah, either that or I will just say, we're going to have a conversation. I was going to drag you by the by the, the scruff. So you're as, actually I'm with angry. Uh, yeah. Barnabas. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can have whatever conversation you'd like once we make it out of this. I, I said until all my enemies were destroyed, Tyson. What did you not understand? I cast throbbing bones on Barnabas. <laughs> oh, I cross my legs. Oh, I'll have the crab legs. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, it's, it's like middle school. It's like middle school. Um... No, I'm kidding. I don't do that. Uh, oh, I am. Shit. I'm dexterous. I'm very dexterous. I'm quick. I'm small and I'm quick, and I uh, have no problem uh, sliding down the ship mast from the bucket. And I have no problem doing sure, these things. Sure. So I am just moving as quick as I can wherever there was like a railing or wherever there's a ladder. I don't climb down it. I do like the slide down the sides sure, of the ladder. Sure, I sure. slide down a pole sure. here or there. I take risky jumps. When possible, okay. even if I might take a point of damage to you here, mm. and I am just scrambling. Uh, so I'll say acrobatics or athletics. Acrobatics or athletics for you, Mikey. Um, what? Uh, how are you contributing? Would Maybe be another way to, to put it. Uh, just, just. Uh, oof! I got a ten. Uh, as, as he's focusing on running, I'll be like on his shoulders, like on the look. Ah, oh, look! I'm falling debris. Falling debris. <laughs> uh, so wisdom perception. Uh, near how are you attempting, endeavoring to get down to the Earth, Conan? Um, as everyone has mostly left, uh, who's still with me? Who's still there? Right now, you've already watched them go like 60, 100 feet down into the bowels of the ship. Only Queenie and you are, are, are catching up with them. Uh, I'll turn to Queenie and I'll say, I will not die a host. I've become a host to a parasite. You should go. Do not wait for me. If I make it, I will join you. Now I'd like to wait for Queenie to leave. Uh, and then just, you can come back to me. Er. I'm not going to leave you. I can get out of here quick as I can if something were to happen. Family doesn't leave family behind. Then take a step back. And I'm going to crack my staff on the ground, and a lightning bolt from the storm that's still there will strike me. And I'm going to try to like jump out of the way and take half damage as possible, <laughs> like you know, uh, if in a mechanical sense. But I would like to try to electrocute myself and hopefully kill the parasite in my brain. Okay. So you take a moment to do this. <gasps> Great idea. Oh. Great idea. <laughs> you know what? Whatever you're. D- no, he rolls max damage. It's fate. No, I think it's fate. I think it's fate. I fail. I'm going to take full damage. Oh, yeah, fine. It's more dramatic anyway. Yeah. Uh, I am so glad that you thought of this. Okay, I rolled lower than my other two. <laughs> Thank God. Your, your other two were bangers. Oh, this was still a good amount of damage. Uh, 16 points of lightning damage. Uh, I will take. <laughs> You do what you can to silence the pain within you, but you feel the frying nature of this lightning course through all of the nerves in your system. And, uh, Queenie, you witness this terrible uh, uh, vision of Yornir. Um, it, somehow the small amount of whispering pain that comes from his mouth is, is more horrible than many screams you've heard because of how stomach he typically is. Yarnir, you are hurt. You've had this terrible experience of, of fighting Sophilith. You've gone through so much psychic damage, and it's... I need you to make a perception check. Let's get a good one here. Oh, uh, this is going to be sorry. such a tasty, you don't know if it were... Oh! oh! What is it? That I... fucking funny. Ah! Well done. Before I can even finish my thought, you just cracked it out. You you feel inside for a moment. You almost get into a meditative state. It doesn't seem like there's anything inside you. Let's fucking go. I'll, I'll sh- as I'm getting shocked, I sort of fall to one knee, holding onto my staff. And I'll feel that it's not there. 
I will have not moved away from him. No. Like he had said. I will reach out and I would like to use my ranger abilities to sense whether there is something inside of him that he's missing. Because I should be able to do their aberrations, right? Yep. And so I should be able to tell mm-hmm. if there are aberrations inside of him. Mm-hmm. Um, and then depending on you reach out with your ranger senses and you remember the first time you had the uh, sense of aberrations and it didn't make sense at the time it was you were just an ogreton you were trying to figure out exactly uh, uh, what was going on and that didn't make sense of you now you know exactly it was the presence of these mind flares the presence of the elder brain sophilith and perhaps even the presence of these tadpoles and you can look over and see this empty skull filled with now duller green uh, uh, brine and you even see that there are more tadpoles that are starting to crawl out and starting to make their way. They, they, don't even think about it. I don't have time for you. And you get the sense <laughs> that there are aberrations nearby. Oh. I'll just look at Queenie as I uh, stand up. You know it may still be in there, right? Well, if it is, I know what to do. No, you don't. Don't go on martyr on me. We'll fix this, and you know we will. I'll Trust in us, all right? I'll nod slowly. And, and I'm going to cast Cure Wounds at a second level. Oh, that's nice. Um, you feel the hand, the soft, small hand of Queenie touch your shoulder or elbow and this magic <clears throat> brings you hope brings you healing and brings you a renewed will to 16. see if she is right Let's go. uh 16 uh thank you I'm imagining like the entire time. As this is happening, we 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 find our way to the bottom, uh, the lowest level of this nautiloid ship, and uh, you already see in the first and frontmost seat, um, uh, Ket Rastine sitting there, and she is furious, concentrating, wiping tears from his eyes, but clearly uh, 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 flipping switches, essentially, uh, attempting to um, get and ready the escape pod for what it's worth, and behind there are five seats. The three of you can find uh, immediately and easily, but looking back behind you, for a moment, there doesn't appear to be Yorni or Queenie. That was the first thing that I would notice is once I hit the door and I look to the other two, I look over my shoulder and say, where the fuck are the other two? Weren't they right behind us? I, I thought so. Thought so too. Fuck. We have to get in. There, there, there's there's no time. We 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 could we we are, are, are flying at 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 the who knows what speed we could hit, we could hit at any moment. We're not leaving them. We have to wait. I I'll scuttle off and just to make sure that they're coming. I, I will give you 10, 20 seconds, and then I will be on my way. Uh, I. As you, as Ket says this, I like holding an elevator door with my body. I will step between the ship and the escape pod with the door to my back and lean against it. Like I'm holding an elevator door with my body. Um, this is this long, like toboggan-like sled almost, right? And then there's the what is clearly the rear bottom la- layer. You're you're leaning up against yep. that door with the orthocone and and the door between you. Yep. Thank you for just clarifying those details. And I just look at him, and I'm like, "Go, on, bus. <laughs> 20, 20 seconds. If I and I, as I'm, I'm scuttling off. As if, if I was gonna stay behind, if I had the chance to save those cowards and cutthroats on the moorbound, I'm not gonna leave behind Miss March and Mister Yornir. And I will try to basically go in the direction, and I'll bellow out, "Miss March, Mister Yornir, where are you?" And 
I would say at this point, both of you have started making your way down and are probably uh, passing through the floor where uh, the organ is. Uh, just one more ladder. You hear the shouting scream over the increasingly hectic sound of the uh, of the um, so sound of the ship and the storm all around you. Uh, what do you? How do you respond? Before before we we start to leave, I would look up and acknowledging what Queenie said. Uh, I'll say. I will do so, but know that I will not die to enable the metamorphosis of something so unnatural, such an abomination. You will. And I'll hear Barnabas, but for the sake of the others, should go with rabbit's haste, and I will transform in a glow into a little white arctic hair, <laughs> and then I'll look up. And I will leap and start. <laughs> and start. How much does your Arctic hair weigh? Oh, nothing, nothing. I will see this, and I'll, I'll, I'll immediately downs. whistle out. All right, bees, <laughs> do your best, and they're going to turn into their mage hand, scoop us both up, and fly us. Oh, I mean, it would be uh, you're, you're cruising two, faster than anyone else. Pounds, yeah, and so, so very easily, uh, uh, you guys ride. It's, it's like those fucking shares in the movie. <laughs> um, uh, fine, uh, I want them to take the wow. shape of a honey pot, and What's we're just the, like sitting in the honey pot as it flies. It's like in Wally, those fucking chairs. Like all yeah. of a sudden, you just have like picked up by this huge hand that flies you through the the different corridors, and that's what you see as uh, 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 Yornir and uh, or uh, rather Queenie and a bunny. And I just I have Yornir on my lap. Yeah, uh, suddenly <laughs> fly past the, the ladder and, and emerge to you, and you all three <laughs> see this vision. By the lady. <sighs> Thank her and her infinite wisdom for dragon kind and for bee kind. It's good to see you. Don't tell me you've lost your air legs. Hot dogs are Get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. Skull down. <laughs> And uh, as I get in, the, the, the legs will uh, sloop into my body. I'll grab my, sh one sh my shell in one hand and my flask in another, and I'll say, My lover, my lover, my sea and my sky, see us through this. And you'll see the as uh, the familiar uh, large manta ray wings will grow out of my back and wrap around me as I sit into the pot. Ah. Uh, do any of y'all have the ability to amplify a voice? Not me. Not oh, me. I, uh, I just oh, got I these just, lungs! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Uh, I would like to buckle up while they're looking. Uh, yes, you do, you do find what a cool <laughs> doing, like a, a, a buckle. Um, uh, it, it, uh, you see Ket um, Taishan, you see the back of his head, uh, you're about one seat behind, and um, you see him look forward, and the pots that you initially passed when you were first going through this level of the ship, um, you can see that he was true to his word, that there are mind flayers all pushed up against the glass, having been suffocated therein, having him sabotaged all of them, including the one he indicated to be his son, and his eyes lock onto that, and you hear words in a language you do not understand whispered in apology. The words don't matter, but you feel the sorriness behind them. And then a hand reaches down his hand and pulls a lever and the back of the ship pulls away where all of a sudden there was a hull. There isn't because there is a opening. The, the, the back flies open and all of a sudden snow and flurrying uh, 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 weather fly into this open space and you disappear through and out of the, off of the ship and you are flying in no space at all. You can see the ship almost disappear. You can still keep your eyes on it but uh, for a moment you're just spinning around your own self and feeling the control the turbulence as, as uh, uh, Ketrosine tries to do right tries to to get to get uh, uh, close and for a moment he does 
and you see the side of the mountain immediately start to approach, and he tries to up it, but it is a ship designed as an escape pod in the Astral Sea, not designed for this atmosphere, and you bounce against oh. the side of the, uh, the the mountainside. You each take, and I need you to roll for yourself and subtract uh, 1d6 <coughs> bludgeoning damage as you though. skip across the side of, uh, of a rock and, and smash into the space. Oh. You continue to fly up, and for a moment, you are like a skipping stone on the surface of a water before all of a sudden you see a flat uh, outcropping just on the side of the mountain and you slam into it spinning in all directions before crashing again. I needed to take another 2d6 bludgeoning damage as you slam into the side of the wall coming to a harsh and brutal stop. (sighs) Only the sound of the storm surrounds you for but a moment. But you are not on a ship that is going down. You are no longer flying in this escape pod experience, having for a moment only the panic and terror of not being in control of this free fall. And as much as your heart is beating in your chest, you are alive, it seems. Uh, Barely. What do you all do? I I think I broke a rib! Uh, sound off! Is anybody dead? On the first hit, you would have heard a <laughs> <laughs> <I shook that. laughs> in a glow into your ear, and I, I'm, I'm probably all like, you know, it's like in Dunmora when you kill Rev. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and she, I would shift back forcefully, and uh, I will sort of brush myself off and get up. And I'll look around, and I guess I'm guessing. Do I find Taishin unconscious? <laughs> yeah, you do. Ket jumps out of the seat and uh, uh, jumps over to the edge of the cliff and races forward. And his eyes are locked on what is clearly still the falling uh, uh, nautiloid ship, uh, beginning to dip down. And you can see for the first time since you, uh, uh, for, for some time, and since you left it, you can see the city of Ogerton just below it. Yornir, can you handle him? I'll not. Kit, do these things have any kind of loudspeaker or anything at all on them? Do you know? This is not, no, 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 no. I, I, I know for a fact this is not the way... I will reach down and I will put my hand on the side of Tai Shen's face and it'll sort of glow with the warmth of a, of a campfire uh, as I cast Cure Wounds, uh, <laughs> giving you some amount of hit points and I'll turn. I can summon the noise of a great beast, but that is the most I can do. Do that for me. Right now. Uh... I will get up finishing a healing you for some amount of damage, so you're fine. <laughs> Uh, you take three plus five. You take eight damage. No, take you take eight damage. Oh, God! Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 and he explodes <laughs> like one of the... Yeah, no. It's a crit. That's two failed saves. Oh. Um, How do I get out of this? Uh, oh. Just give yourself healing. Yeah, yeah. Automatic yeah. get you out. Yeah. Is it eight, eight points? Yep. Um, Ket didn't look when you asked. He answered factually, but his eyes are locked on the ship in uh, not reverence and fear almost, but uh, just um, uh, trying to trying to dr- drink it in, drink in the sight. Uh, is this is this your your city here? I will say I will Ignore. immediately uh, from my my mouth. It will sort of I'll purse my lips and almost like magically you will see. Almost like like the spectral, just for uh, uh, an instant, sort of glimmer, the shape of a mammoth. <gasps> as I go, <laughs> let's fucking go. Uh, and I will, as loudly as I can, and, and as loud as a full blast mammoth cry would be, mm. um, I will uh, shout that into the uh, winter air. Mm. The come, sound reverberates. I will and command my bees to create a funnel around my mouth in the hopes that it will amplify my voice at least a little bit, and Queenie will call out, Princess Arath, you are supposed to protect this place, and that is all of the people of Drakkar. If you are out there, help them. 
You shout into the storm. You shout this mammoth scream. You are only just coming to Taishan. Barnabas scream. You are both watching, and Ket is watching the same as this nautiloid ship continues to go down, and the sound rumbles and reverberates across the side of the cliff, across the side of this mountain, enough to actually dislodge what the, whatever ice was underneath the orthocone, and it actually crumbles and falls to the side. You're only able to just pull yourself onto the ice, and you watch. I forgot to do my seatbelt. As the spinning <laughs> nautiloid ship, <laughs> you watch as the spinning nautiloid ship, the dominant mind, mindlessly descends and spins through the torrenting snow. The front of the ship disappears through the veil first, and then followed by the enormous shell-like back, you brace yourself for what you know will happen next. The nautiloid ship crashes into Ogerton, and the charged propulsion helm explodes destroying everything. For a brief moment, the instant the ship detonates, you see that city in its last moment before being consumed by an expanding dome of light and fire and smoke. The illusory shield hiding the city vanishes the instant the ship detonates and the city is consumed by an expanding dome of fire. Everything is annihilated within this radius, and even beyond the farms and sheds and villas, they are heavily damaged by the concussive force as it dissipates. The city crumbles and shatters and slides like a landslide inferno into the crevasse below. Mechanically speaking... Let's do some quick napkin math to try and comprehend this level of destruction in D&D terms. According to the basic rules, a stick of dynamite is one pound and does 3d6 bludgeoning damage to anything within five feet. The radius of this explosion expands by five feet for each additional stick of dynamite doing an additional 1d6 bludgeoning damage. A four-mile radius is 21,120 feet. If we ignore the maximum radius described by the basic rules for a moment, we can calculate that it would take 4,224 sticks of dynamite to impact a four-mile radius doing 4,226 D6 bludgeoning damage, an average of 16,904. But that is only 4,224 pounds of dynamite. Explosions like this are measured in TNT equivalents. The approximate energy released by the detonation of a metric ton or 1,000 kilograms of TNT. So to cover a four mile radius would be the approximate equivalent of about 1.91 metric tons of TNT. Let's call it two. That's extremely low. <laughs> the TNT equivalent in the real world to destroy a four mile radius area is more like 15,000 metric tons of TNT, not two. Put another way, this explosion should really be more in the neighborhood of 33,188,482 D6 bludgeoning damage. All of that is but a vague reflection of what it feels like to be there now. None of you think in those terms. Numbers and equivalents and weights and averages mean nothing to you as you witness the total destruction of Ogerton. The sight and the sound of the falling ship is momentarily concealed. For just a handful of seconds, there is only the sound of your breathing and heart pumping in your ears. The mountain trembles and shakes beneath you, and you see the last image of Ogerton before it is devoured by the dome of terrible light. You shield your eyes, hide yourself, beneath your hands, not knowing whether you too will be consumed by the catastrophic force rushing towards you that is enveloping the valley. There is a deafening crash of sound and warmth as the blast reaches you and for a time all is chaos and sound and darkness around you. Blinking, you find yourself unscathed, far enough away from the blast to survive. Only the sound of crumbling rocks reaches you now as what remains of Ogerton finishes its sinking journey into the depths of the crevasse beneath the waterfall. Stunned and yet still alive, you slowly come to your senses. The others will be okay. Oh, the others! The others! Oh, yeah. Oh, there's other people other than us. Oh. Okay, another sound off. Is anyone dead? Is any one of us dead? We all make it? No. No. 
cast aside. That brain was willing to do that to all those souls, innocent and otherwise. They were just cattle to it. And they, he slaughtered them like cattle. It is done. The mark of Sophilith has been purged by fire. Is there like a mega crater? Like like looking down on where over to Like was. a meteor struck and now it is <sighs> crushed and uh, you can't tell the difference between debris and fragmented rock and what would have been painted stone or wood or uh, structures uh, when it instead it all is like a landslide sinks down it seems to come to rest directly under the waterfall and it's now then uh, being being covered by its watery tongue well, I mean the landscape has to be Mr. Fireball changed forever that's going to be there for millions of years on your feet lad Ah, oh, thank you. Ah. I, I, I can't believe we made it out of there. This I, fate, Scrim. We were led here to end all of it. Fate has seen it done. To understand, it was fate. That the abominable scar upon the land was wiped out in seconds. And all of those ogres wiped out too. Yes. It is no different than their fate before their end. That's where we do agree, Mr. Yornir that a f instantaneous fiery death is better than living as cattle. But we had a chance to put an end to all of it and free all of those people. We did put an end to all of it. We had a chance to claim their freedom back whatever form that may take. At least let them try to survive in their own ways. But it was not for us to decide their fate. Were we the ones that put them into the situation? Were we the ones that elevated their intelligence? This is a tragic loss of life, yes, but do not feel ill about it if you can what about the young lady is she alright is she far enough away <sighs> the blast pushed the clouds away you are all looking up at blue sky a ring of it so powerful was the concussive force of this explosion that though there are some snowflakes falling down you exactly right you can see that it's going to take a while for the snowstorm to re-encroach above Ogreton, and you're watching as sunlight sprays down the brilliant rays uh, towards what was once its sight. And you can see through no snow at all with much greater visibility that there are the villas were not consumed by the explosion. They were they were beyond the perimeter of this blast. And you all remember that Daisy and the family Bliginius and the rest of the vassals of that house had journeyed beyond the perimeter of the illusory wall that had protected this place for so long into the forest. And if you made your way down from the mountain, you might be able to start making your way east towards Ogreton and north towards that same forest that you shielded them in.
Oh, sorry. She's got to be okay. I mean, it's got to be plenty of distance, right? I mean, I only just be worried about her with the ogres. But she's clever and quick and resourceful. So surely she'll have gotten away. There's no chance they went back to try and free more. Um, I certainly hope not. It is unlikely. There's nothing left, lad. I mean, before the ship crashed. And if she did, that would have been her choice. It would have been all of their choices. Because that's what we gave them. The freedom to choose. Exactly right. Just like we chose to fight, knowing that our lives could end at any moment. They now have the freedom to choose. You're near. And I'm going to reach out. And now being four miles or so away from that <laughs> ship and those entities, I want to see if I can sense any aberrations. You, you push in with your mind. <laughs> you feel the presence of aberration. <gasps> Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. And it's in this moment that you hear this wail. This cry. This scream at the bright sky, at the heavens, at the, sh- at the clouds, and the sound of clanging metal as Ket drops his sword to his side and yells in sadness and frustration screams this unearthly scream until there's no more breath in his lungs and then (gasps) breathes in and you can hear this release of grief and anger come from him and he falls down Does anyone want to check on him? Because I certainly do not. I'll go do it. Thank you. And I will walk over to Ket, and I will kneel down in front of him and lift his chin up with my little <coughs> hair and gun finger. You gonna be all right, Ket? No, it will never be all right. You have your laugh. I have nothing, nothing. I have lost my son. I've have lost you? my my mother and my father again. Okay. I have lost my brothers and my sisters again. I have lost those who I called allies in untold battles and war. I have I have lost my vice again. I have lost all of it again. I have lost the chance to avenge any of them. I have lost it for, for what reason? To give him another chance? A chance to do it all again? See? Look at this! Look at this sight! You! I blame you! You fool! Ken, what did your son look like? What made him smile? What was his favorite thing to do when he was just spending time with you? What did he smell like? Can you remember those things? Of course. Of course I can remember. Then your son is not lost. I'll put my hand on his heart. Because he lives right here. And while you still live, and while you still breathe, a part of all of those you lost walk with you. And I'll put his hand on my heart. 
because I've lost those I love too. And I will be unrelenting in my walk forward, knowing that every step I take, they walk by my side. Today may not be your day for vengeance. Today may not be your day. But tomorrow might. As long as you don't lose hope and you never forget what he looked like when he smiled. Miss March is right. There's nothing more tragic. It's okay, Barbos. Give him time. In this world than forgetting those you love. Nothing more evil. Keep it there. His face softens. What? Biting, hissing words you could feel welling up in him for Taishen is put aside by the love he has for his son. And though he... You feel, you get a sense that he can't articulate himself in this moment. You get a sense of gratitude as tears roll down his face and freeze against his armor. He puts his hand on the hilt of the blade that lies next to him and slowly stands. Then just looks out in quiet contemplation. I will put my hand on his shoulder, give it a little squeeze as he stands up. Um, but knowing that he needs some time in his own thoughts, um, I will make my way back towards my friend. Let's give him some time. He'll be all right. He's a tough one. And don't take what he said to heart. <laughs> that was some pretty crazy shit, though. <laughs> Holy crap, man. I mean, I don't know what you were thinking, but... Whew, that was impressive, to say the least. Uh, I haven't, since the ship crashed and the 38 million megaton TNT explosion that pierced the heavens went off and leveled Ogerton, uh, I haven't looked away from the crater. Um, Drakkar is a land of blood and, and death and for a moment I thought I could introduce something I hadn't seen and I don't know maybe ever mercy and this is what it brought well uh, you know uh, you know what they say about the road paved to the nine hells right good intentions but hey, look, you know, we hacked that thing up pretty good. So, you know, maybe you showed it back home. It got a little, uh, oh, this is nice, and then gone. No, all we can do is pray that it's dead. Eh, eh, eh. Because if it continues its machinations, it's not like you and me and all of us mortals. It may not come around in our lifetime, but perhaps it'll come back again. Filled with even more revenge than our new friend. And then, what terrors would unleash when it's already been defeated once? The bitterness, the hatred. If our friend here was consumed by vengeance, You've seen what it's done to him. I know what vengeance feels like. It's an all-consuming abyss. A beast of endless hunger. 
it grows and it grows and it grows and whatever you do, it's never enough to fill it. It's like the drink. It grows the abyss. And I've achieved my vengeance. And that's something that Mr. Steen doesn't know. And Sophilith doesn't know. It's when you finally achieve that vengeance. It doesn't fill the hole. That hunger is still there. The black void is still there. I've seen lots of deep abysses. It's more terrible than any of them that I've dove, dove in. Fought monsters in. And it leads men to do terrible things. What would it lead? Something like that. Something that did that. To do. And if there's any chance that what you did gave it that chance. Woe be. To anyone here on Avantress. That encounters it when it does return. Tashan. Do you regret. What you've done. Or do you feel like you made the right choice for you? I think the only thing we know is that we don't know anything. I don't know if I made the right choice. We don't know where I sent it. I don't know how it will react when it gets there. I don't know if it will feel warmth, if it will feel saved, if it will feel angered, if it will feel betrayed, if it will feel stolen from. Or if it will if, even live. Or if it will live. We walked into that lair originally to kill it, yes, to bring these creatures a choice, but we didn't bring them a choice. We brought only death. If we had joined Sophilith, we would be in space. Or oh, wherever we would be in the Astral Sea. Same if thing. Sophilith would have turned us, turned us into more of his thralls. It's like the ones that you fought, that controlled whatever this city was before Sophilith lives. The only way to destroy an elder brain is to do it. You understand? Showing it mercy. You have doomed others. Another group of people unfortunate enough to encounter it. Somewhere in an impossibly large sea that we call the Astral Sea. There... Sophilus will continue to do evil. You are really not sugarcoating this, unless, all right? Let's take a step back here and relax. Let's take a deep breath. where he sent it, there are others like us. Others like us that are capable of doing what we could not. Let us not be ignorant enough to think we know all the threads that fate has woven. We walk but one path, and this is the one that we have chosen. Tashin, do not linger on this choice, for it was the one that you made. And however the outcome is, I will always stand by your side. Like I said to Yornir, we are family. The fate of other worlds does not concern us. Oh, he speaks! <laughs> we are pilgrims guided by the land itself. Taishan, do not feel an ounce of guilt for what you did. For it was Drakkar herself that placed you in this group of pilgrims on that vessel. Guided your hand to do what you did so that the stain of corruption, the a natural parasite could be burned away. This was her will. And do not for a second doubt it. And I'll put a hand on one of your shoulders. I'll put my hand on the other. 
I think this is a load of shit. <laughs> but it seems that I am a pilgrim now too. I've nowhere to go. Where, oh, we'll, where, sh- where should we go? We'll get through to you eventually. You'll you'll learn to like it. The rest of them did. Hmm. Did you hear what I said about revenge? Don't make me repeat my speech, please. <laughs> oh no, no, no! I, I I heard it. Good. I am uh, a knight of my people who has been unable to accomplish this task of defeating Sophilith, and I will have to learn to live with this. Perhaps I don't want to continue to pile on you, Mr. Fire Blossom. And your wisdom is well stated, Miss March, Mr. Yornier, but I do disagree that it was her will. I cannot fathom that whatever this thing is that's called us here would believe in the concept of mercy. Much less for something like that. Does the land care about mercy? Does the land feel for mercy? Do I speak of mercy through the brain? No. As Ket said, Perhaps the survival of Sophilith, if he does live, will lead to destruction, enslavement of four of Ket's people. It's not mercy at all that the land wrought this day. It was a cleansing. It is in the nature of the land itself to wish to be just that natural all right you're right mr you're near no one would know the spirit of the land better than you and the lady knows gods know that i am out of my element here not just so far from the sea but so high up in the air far from the embrace of my lover there was a tribe from where I'm from in the mood that I visited many years ago and helped them through a particularly hard winter. They lived around the base of a volcano because they worshipped what they believed was a great fire god that lived inside. I did not look down upon their worship of such a god, but they believed that their worship and praise and sacrifices and feasts of their own would keep the fire at bay. When I felt the land start to show signs that the volcano was indeed a volcano, they did not listen. So I moved on. And as volcanoes do, it erupted. And it killed them all. Our wishes, our wants, our desires, our senses of justice or mercy, all are irrelevant to the land. So, what you have did is just one more Done. piece of the truth that we are her pilgrims, and that this is the way forward. Aye. Nowhere to go but forward. Just keep moving. Nowhere to go but down, I think. And you see Ket jump down to the next lowest ledge. And 
taking perhaps a few more moments to talk amongst yourselves, you start to make the slow progress of steadily coming down the side of the cliff of this mountain to a place where you can eventually reach the ground. The crevasse that Ogerton sank into is well, well, well to the east. You're able to reach the land and it curls off and you are able to start to walk. Walk across the snowy plains before you reach what would have been the edge of that dome. Reach the site of what was Ogerton. That's where we'll take a brief break. <sighs> Good shit, Derek. Thank you. It takes you a few hours uh, to cross the distance, um, making your way down from this nameless mountain, making your way to uh, the perimeter of the blast, uh, all walking, sometimes in silence, sometimes um, sharing moments. Uh, you're dazed. You're, you're not confused, and you're not dazed in the psychonic sense, but you are hollowed out from the experience of going in and endeavoring to save the people of Ogerton, to save uh, the the ogres, the family Blaginius that you are familiar with. Um, and turning, you walk past the fragmented stones and charred rubble, uh, the ground itself seeming to have been burned by whatever this energy was that was contained within the propulsion system that it had exploded. And uh, Ket is extremely silent during this time. Uh, eventually, you turn north and you start to make your way back towards the site, towards the tree line towards the place that you know if you were to go. Uh, uh, but another four or five miles, you would be able to uh, reach where Daisy uh, and the others that you had warned to get out of the city might be. But you do not have to cross into this tree line. Instead, you are met by a caravan of sorts. You are met by a uh, site, a site of these wagons being pulled down and towards the city. You are met by the sight of many what once were vassals. You are met by the sight of uh, polar bears pulling perhaps a little bit more primal than they had been under the influence of the psionic blasts uh, of intelligence growth that Ogerton had provided them, but still willing enough for now to pull these wagons into space and at the head you see Daisy there and she's looking out at the still smoking rubble of the destroyed city and then she spies you and you see her shocked and thrilled to see all five of you alive Having heard, presumably, the blast and having led everyone here, and she races forward. As soon as we see her, we make eye contact and we have that exchange. I would, like, take my hat off and be like, hey, hey, oh my god, you're alive, thank you! Oh, oh we did it! Oh, well, we did something, we did something! Ah, you're, you're, you're okay, you're good, we're good, everybody's good, we, we did it, we're alright. Look at you. What happened? Oh, <laughs> where do you want to start? How much time you got? We heard the sound. Was that... Was, was that crash this? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was us. Mostly Taishen, but that was us. Sophilith had a ship beneath the ice. It used to travel the skyways and, and lands beyond. And... We dealt with him, and it crashed. All destroyed? Everything. M many of the the rest of us are here, having having come from your from your words of warning. Many many 
like me, survived. I think the sea. Silver linings. There you go. Chin up, Daishen. We gave them the right to choose at the very least. What? What happened? A, a, a ship that can fly, you say? I've never seen anything like it. It was like a giant creature, almost, of, it, of its own self. And when we confronted Sophileth, he announced the ship had been repaired days prior. And it, it whirred to life and soared through the air like it was cutting through waves. While you were on it? While we were inside of it. Amazing. I have no words. I don't recommend it. <laughs> Any ship. It's not on the sea. Yeah. I, I, no. Hopefully you never get to see that. Oh yeah, Young lady. it was an abject nightmare. It was unnatural. Crazy. Uh, crazy. Unnatural. Absolutely crazy. Who is this? And she points to Ket Rustin. Uh, I guess he's with us or something. Uh, he was on the ship. He helped us out. Looks very different. He's our new friend. He, like many here, have has recently lost his family. He'll need the tribe, like you all here are building now. The ogres got a little weird. <laughs> oh, a, a little, like or a lot, because we were pretty sure that they were gonna like change. They did change a lot. Oh boy. And she points, and you can see all of a sudden one of the doors swings wide uh, from the side of the wagon, and out comes what is clearly Manius Laginius. Friends! Hello! Friends! Hello! Oh no, he's flowers for Algernoning us. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can take this. <gasps> uh, Matty, as you made it, that's that's good to good to see you. Uh, you're in all right shape. Strong. Feel good. That's what matters. City gone. Oi, it's all gone. I can't even talk to him. This is gonna make me too upset. <laughs> it's... It's alright, though. You were made for the, this climate in the ways that we weren't. You're a natural survivor. You even survived that. Yes. Strong. Strong. Feel good? Feel good. Yeah, this is a lot more like the ogres I've wrestled. Oh, God, I can't take this. And your uh, family, are they okay? All, all good, strong. Yes, yes. Mm, Manus, uh, Manus, Manny, Manny. I like that. <laughs> ogres free. Ogres are free. Hi. Mm. Ogre's free. Yeah. Manny. Come see! And the rest of the family. Um, and you notice ogre's that free. there are a few ogres who have joined who are uh, uh, similarly looking around with perhaps a little bit more stupefaction on their face, but taking in the sight of the city um, in surprisingly good spirits. Uh, do you... Uh, <clears throat> Manny, uh, mind if we uh, take a look in your things for supplies or anything that you might not need? No. Mm, friend of Manny. Friend of Ogre. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna... I'm gonna go take a look. I don't want to be here right now, if you don't mind. 
Did you just ask him if you could steal from him? No, I'm asking if we could take supplies that they're not going okay, to need. Okay, I'm just making sure. Because you never know with you, Scrim. We're going to need them. Oh, I know it. And quite frankly, I don't want to watch this. All right, right. Mr. Stavis Gotch. I'll be back. Maybe if you can find yourself some alcohol. Oh, way ahead of you on that front. You start to make your way, and uh, you hear um, what uh, what is Manius' son uh, cry out, Papa, look! And you see all of the ogres follow the direction, the pointing of the um, <laughs> young boy. And, uh, son, what? Ancestors. And all of them, the twins, the, the wife, the, 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 uh, Manny, what was Manius, now just man, Manny, look, and you can see them all looking up and up and, and seeing something on the horizon over the site of Ogreton. And they're watching that sort of go up and into the sky. Strength. Sun. Ancestors. Yes. Ogres free. Heaven, sun. Boy. And you turn and you look. You don't see what spirits had been trapped in the dome, the ones that Yornir encountered angry, but you can see the eyes of these ogres watching something. There's no doubt in your mind that in this moment they are watching the spirits of those killed in the blast, perhaps, and those consumed by the illithid reaching their halls of their ancestors and for a moment you're all frozen in time standing in silence looking out at the ruins of a false city a city of deception and a city of tears but now a city that has been erased and it's evil with it. Oi, Manny. Ogre's free. Ogre's free. They are with the All Father now. We're off to the Fiddler's Green. Either way, they're at peace. Yes. And land still good. We build again. Ogres. A town. Ogre town. Why some things don't change. Daisy. God, that name is so stupid. <laughs> well, I thought it was a little pretentious to pronounce it Ogre Tin, personally. So at the very least, they're staying humble. And you eventually turn and make your way to find perhaps some brandy or some effects. Uh, the rest of you uh, continue to converse with... What may have been a savage race, let's say. Whatever Sothleth told you, it could have been true. They may have found a brutal tribe of these ogres and the experience of erasing their memories, crafting this culture, changing them, may have been uh, justified. You'll never know if it was deception or if it was uh, uh, truth. But these ogres seem pacified. And they certainly trust you and the others like Daisy. There's clearly no danger here. <sighs> I feel a little better. I was about to cry. <laughs> well, at least they didn't decide to name the place Holgerton. Son? Ball? And 
in spite of the destruction in front of them, the ogres are immediately turned to their own devices and and socialize and play. And uh, you can see Mylan. Uh, he is actually uh, whipping some of the other uh, 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 what once were vassals, the other humans, let's say, uh, into shape. And they are finding cattle. They are finding sheep. They are finding pigs who have uh, escaped the uh, perimeter of knocked over fences and stuff. And they're herding them and getting them together, trying to uh, uh, start to immediately repair uh, what what's ha- has happened. Um, they, they're all to work. And what happens next? You're left to decide for yourselves. I will say, uh, after you've said what you said and getting the sense that they are not going to... Com- it, it sounds like they're not going to completely lose their intelligence. They've, they've retained a certain level. It doesn't seem like they're going to continue to regress. It feels like they've come to, to rest yeah. and, mm-hmm. and that that would have happened okay. actually very quickly. Probably okay. um, well af- uh, just after you left uh, in the same way that the polar bears themselves, uh, that what were more intelligent bears were happily able to pull wagons or perhaps pulling them a little bit more ornery and getting back to their natural uh, intelligence levels. Everything is dropping back. And you, even, even now, you the effects of intelligence, that psionic blast uh, that, that was being put out by the orb at the silver ship in the center of the city that was creating that illusory shield, that was benefiting you. You feel a little dumber, too. Eh, what else is new? Just another day that ends in Y. <laughs> um, so just to clarify, I, I do or I do not get the sense that this is going to continue to, pr- like, to regress. It, 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 it stopped. They've, they've reached the level okay. of intelligence. Base. We've got a base. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, knowing I'll just, that, I'll just tell you that. I'm not going to completely pilfer all their shit. Because <laughs> I figured if they were going to completely return to like, wild animals, we would, they wouldn't have any use for it. But it sounds like they will be able to make use of some of the things Talking that to are Daisy there. and getting a sense of them being what they are. They uh, have limited language. They still have their accents, which is, makes it a little weird. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you, you get the sense that this is this is the the level that they've returned right, to, and that I'm they gonna, won't go any farther. I'm gonna look for booze, and load up, but I'm only gonna take enough like food for us to survive for like a couple days. You know, because we're probably tapped out. I I have to take a look at what we all have, but I assume we need food. Yeah, and I would definitely look for some sort of something that'll keep for at least a couple days. Survival in mind, you immediately go to um, fill up your pack, thinking not just of yourself, but of your companions. And you, you find some rations, you find a few bottles of wine. Um, you uh, look stronger than that, come there. Roll a d20. Yes. Scrim doesn't even like wine. It sounds like Scrim's desperate. What am I rolling? Investigation? Uh, no, no, I'm just saying a natural... Oh, I got a s- fucking seven. You got a fucking seven? Uh, and you don't find any of the hard stuff. They, didn't, they decided not to bring it with them in their hasty journey out of the city while you guys were... Okay. All right, take the wine uh, and the rations. Um, and provided we still got all of our stuff back, I should still have eight of those candles, those bonfire candles, mm. if I've been keeping track. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, and as long as we have some food, I would be satisfied with that. And I would want to make sure that, you know, we, we at least have some provisions before we set out. Daisy comes to you. Scrim, what are you doing? I'm preparing. I know, I know. Very unlike me. But it beats going to hunt. So I'm just taking some of the food and some other things as well. So at least we have some uh, rations for a few days. At least until we figure out where we're going. And we can do some hunting or, God forbid, fishing. <laughs> I hope that you would stay for... At least a little while. The villa may be damaged, but still stands. Oh, well, personally, I'd love to stay. But if I know old Yornir, got a stick up his ass, and he's going to push us out into the wilderness. I will talk to Yornir. Ah, sounds good to me. Just a little, a, a week, perhaps, if you'd stay. I, you we don't need to twist my arm. We could ring in the new year. It's only oh. four days away. Well, that sounds lovely. I am sure we would all be honored. And then I'd like to come with you. Oh. Well, again, no objections from me. There's a whole world out there. That's right. And I don't think I'm going to stay here. I'd rather be with all of you. Well, I'm sure I speak for everyone when I say we would love to have you. We couldn't have done this without you. 
Did you tell my dad that he was the reason why my sister died? Me? <laughs> I, I certainly didn't, no. <laughs> We're going to have to unpack that. <laughs> Look, you know, hey. He's uh, really upset. Yeah, well, he punched me. So, I, you know, that makes two of us, but I'm, I'm not holding it against him. I kind of think I should punch you. I didn't say it! It wasn't me! You didn't say it. It wasn't me. Let's make our way to the villa. You don't have to pack to leave just yet. Fair enough. Oh, he also punched me before that comment was made. I'm not sure if I believe you. <laughs> uh, if she wants to roll for deception, she can. Oh, are you I'm deceiving? Being, you? No, she's being. I mean, truthful. I didn't say that. Oh, then uh, an insight for if her. If I'm if I'm recalling the conversation that you're, she doesn't know if she believes you. <laughs> okay, if I'm recalling the conversation that you are saying, mm -hmm. I am being 100 percent honest. I believe it was Queenie. Oh it's yes, not, I believe it was Queenie as well. <laughs> I'm sitting over here like, is he gonna rat out Queenie right now? <laughs> <laughs> it was not it's crazy crazy. character. Horse crib. And but if she is if she is trying to incite, I'm being 100 percent honest. Just and she doesn't know one way or the other sure. because it was a strange thing her dad said uh, uh, during the time that they were uh, together after you left and made your way to the dominant mind. Um, but there are many humans who have survived and, and some ogres, uh, some of them uh, even coming from some of the villas uh, that they themselves <laughs> hadn't been destroyed. But you are all able to make your way back. And even though the fronts of these buildings, uh, wood and paint have been stripped off, there are uh, hanging uh, uh, windows, there's uh, some, some roof pieces have flown off, relatively intact shelters. And uh, the their gardens have been pushed over, trees have been flattened. Um, you, uh, it seems like a place where, in no time at all, you might be able to repair. And uh, you all assemble, uh, not just you and the ogres and the other humans, but the um, uh, what is left of Ogreton. And you find yourselves there now as the sun sets, and it starts to get darker and darker. Um, on our way there. And I would want to sort of like hold back a little bit and be walking in the back or at least sort of away from everyone else. If I could sort of just walk alongside Ket, um, imagining that it's not unusual for you or here to be sort of by himself, but also Ket might not be with everybody else. And sort of under my breath, if I could, and I feel like everyone's out of earshot, I would say, do you mind if I ask you a question? That was a question. I will continue. <laughs> <laughs> the parasite that transformed your son, is there any treatment that you know of in the herb or medicine or procedure that can reverse or remove it? No, I, I, uh, uh, once a uh, creature that was compatible was taken and uh, one of these tadpoles made its way into their mind their brain would slowly slowly of the course of many days change and as he's saying these words you are re-witnessing the vision that you were given at the beginning uh, you are seeing that strange creature start to get dizzy and pound against the walls and slowly lose its faculties, teeth falling out, transforming. No, I, it's a terrible thing. This, that's why we have made it our mission. The gifts have always done what they could to destroy all illithid, for they are a scourge in any world. Thank you. Why do you ask? I will say nothing. <gasps> and I will turn away and walk toward, try to like hustle a little bit and increase my pace with the rest of the group. No, guys, I didn't get bit. I'm good. I'm healthy. <laughs> No this is a scratch. Yeah, <laughs> zombie bit me. And you make your way back to the 
villa, what once was the Manor Bleginius, <coughs> but now is perhaps just Man Blog. <laughs> and if you go back and rewatch the rest of this arc, you'll notice that all of these are just literally stupid ogre names with Ineas or something like that on, <laughs> attached to it. I just want to—I just want to point that out now That's instead of doing really a mantras and chill. Uh, do you guys do anything before you go to bed? Yes. Yes. I would kind of, as I'm like just taking everything in. I'll like grab the uh, the piercing, the the hex spoon uh, amulet that I made, and kind of touch the uh, the uh, cormorant tattoo, the seabird tattoo that I gave myself. And I'm said, I told, I told him, oh, he told him, good luck. This is about as good luck we could have hoped. And that would be, and I'd go proceed. And I would want to like make dinner for people. There's plenty of food still in the basement. Uh, you do have to step over the body of Commodus and his son, but you are able to, in the uh, larder of this villa, uh, make your way. And there are, uh, it's stored for winter. Uh, what mild winter Ogerton once had, and certainly winter now is going to be a true Dracarian winter. You are able to whip up whatever feast you could possibly imagine. Uh, as I'm like, I'll gather a bunch of ingredients and I'll pull out my pan and I'll see that it wasn't stripped. I'll say, <laughs> uh, well, Mr. Maybe Mr. Fire Blossom was right to give a little bit of mercy. <laughs> and I'll start cooking and using a liberal, liberal amounts of, uh, of, uh, ancient estuary. What do you do before sleep eventually takes you, Taishin? It's been a long day. Uh, has been a long day. Um, I would... In classic Tai Shen fashion, have <laughs> brewed some of my most calming tea. <laughs> um, it's the first time we've had the teapot in a while, right? Uh, I love that thing. Well, yeah. Um, yeah, I think what about so. That? Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh yes, yes, yeah, the yeah, actual right? teapot. Yeah. yeah, the item, the mm-hmm. item teapot. Mm-hmm. Yes, it's the first time I've had. Oh, so this will be my first brew since yeah. oh, wow. we hit yeah, Ogerton. Right. Yeah. So I draw my first brew since we hit Ogerton. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I did a terrible thing, and yeah. thank you all for allowing me to take <laughs> literally go on a quest yeah. where you guys yeah. don't have any of your shit. Good deal. Um, Amazing. I would, I would probably quietly. Uh, drink deep from it, uh, welcoming its familiar warmth and hoping that it will uh, quiet the the tumultuous swirl of emotions that is uh, just roiling uh, within me. Uh, and and I, I am in a place right now where I, I like it kind of to like a wildfire this ripped through an overgrown forest. Uh, and what we're, what we see now is kind of the first signs of, uh, like sprouts coming back up. Um, but I haven't lost sight of the burnt trees and the ash. Uh, and as the tea does not have the desired effect, uh, Scrim, did you find wine? Uh, one, Maybe, and two, how did you know? You were walking around saying, I found wine. Oh, damn it. <laughs> yeah, fine, fine, fine. I'll share, I'll share. Here, give me a cup. As you are sharing this cup, um, with uh, as Scrim is sharing a cup with you, <laughs> and you're thinking about the simple act of giving, and thinking about uh, numbing wait, a bit. Wait, 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 oh, the oh, bad so luck. Let's oh. do another day, come on. Cheers. Huh. A uh, well, not woman, like this, I hope. a woman uh, approaches, uh, swaddling a small baby, and you recognize this to be the mother, uh, who's who gave birth to a young child, and uh, who that 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 child was silenced. She comes up and, with one hand, can I share in some tea? Mm, please, please. I've always you, liked tea. Your child is... Are they okay? Just fine. Just fine. I'm sorry, but for a moment, m- may I? And she hands you the child and starts to 
sip on the warm tea herself. Clearly something that she probably might not have really enjoyed uh, very often in her previous position, but now feeling the fruits of freedom. You have a beautiful child. Thank you. Thank you for the tea. As you were. And she takes her cup and she starts to sort of make her way out of uh, almost reverence, like uh, respect. And you find yourself looking, you find yourself in that moment then looking again down at the sheared cup of wine that Scrim has shared with you. To another day. That's right. Queenie, you're near. How do you find yourselves either together or apart entering what is a well-deserved rest? Uh, Queenie would find herself apart from everyone else. And on a trip into the wreckage. Oh. So Queenie is going to sneak away, ignore dinner, and she is going to, if even if it takes all night, hunt for the one of these slugs, one of the tadpoles. Whether alive or dead, she prefers dead, uh, the remains of one. Okay. Um, That's what she'd do. You spend a number of hours walking. You spend a number of hours looking through the rubble and immediately and realizing Queenie has a flying speed for what it's how much oh uh, that's be, right because of the bees she can, oh, I can just i'm fly. sorry uh you go straight comic book and you immediately silver surfer your way down the fuck with the fucking bees uh <laughs> flying racing through the air uh being carried by your hive to the um wreckage and uh you're able to with your um ranger abilities uh start to sort through um as you get closer to the center you see how much there was uh disintegration and that the land itself was so uh fragmented and destroyed by the immense power of this blast that uh it almost turned to a slurry and then slid down uh make an investigation check Mm. Uh, 23. With the 23, um, I don't know if Queenie is hoping to find a dead body of a tadpole. She's hoping to find some remains of one of them. Whether it's a full thing or part of it. Two things happen uh, with a 23. The first is that you, only because of your small size, that you are able to eventually touch down, step off your bees, and and you find what was once a street. And you are able to make your way underneath where there once were sewers. And though it is cramped and much of the sewers have collapsed, this pocketed area seems to have been preserved. And you find one of the wands, these wands that the ogres carried that they could use to control by the bangles that were worn by so many. And when you pick it up, there's this connection that you have with it that you do not expect. All of a sudden, there's this almost magical charge that goes through your arm. That is not why you are here. You put it away and you maybe put that in your pocket for a second to think about a moment later and I will say that here you do find the back half of a dead tadpole thank you Queenie will pick it up see that it's dead look up at the sky the ring where the clouds have been pushed away I'm assuming still not having closed no it was a slow moving storm so it's still a good circle a halo uh, of sorts she would look up to the night sky and then she would take the the tadpole and pocket it. And just to the to Dracar itself, she'd say, And in this night, you're near. Let's hope for hope. And she'll make her way back to the villa. And you start to fly your way back. 
I would like to speak with Manius if possible. <gasps> Did you want to go last? Oh, have you gone? Oh, sorry. I was, I was just gonna say. I just if you want to go last, I, I don't have to go last. I just, I just want to go, go last. Go ahead. Oh, it's <laughs> fine. I, I just want to respect that. I, I just all. thought mine was gonna be like longer than everybody else, like yeah. chatting. I'm gonna use one <laughs> sentence. Okay. I spend three or four hours telling Daisy every detail of our adventure once we parted from her. Whether Tai Shen stays there for that and shares the wine uh, or not, that's fine. But I would tell her everything, like a like a epic story of what happened once we left them. You start to tell the story, and Daisy is already at the Fellowship of the Rings when others start to assemble, <laughs> and you start to get a crowd, and very quickly. Uh, ogres, uh, adult and children alike, uh, and humans all stand, and uh, pretty quickly uh, the two of you are sipping on wine and um, perhaps with a few additions from Tai Shen, uh, you are all uh, uh, drinking and uh, listening to the dramatic story. Barnabas arrives with uh, plates of hot, steaming, perfectly cooked ancient I'd, estuary seasoned I'd food. I'd call out, uh, uh, Mr. Stavisgosh, is that a red or a white? Um, if I can, it's a red. Can I can I uh, spare a cup? I'm teaching the young master here how to uh, how to deglaze. We're gonna make the best gravy for beef you've ever had. Of course, of course, help yourself. And I'll be like, basically, if there's like a, a young like vassal, maybe like the someone who would have reminded me of the cabin boy from the ship, mm -hmm. I'd be basically teaching him how to cook and, and like how to deglaze and to make a gravy for beef. The fact that you are willing to, after all of the day that you've had, immediately dive into cooking and share what tips and, and tricks you have, you are already a champion in these people's eyes, and every c cabin boy shows up to learn. Oh, yeah, there you see, there you're good. Got the, see the lady, you, you make, you you have a date and you make her this, she's gonna fall in love with you on the spot. And that's a Barnabas <laughs> promise. And then I'll come back in with like bowls of, of, of our plates for everyone and I'll say, uh, you know, I think that Mr. Stab of Scotch is embellishing to make himself look better and make me look worse on account of us be, having fight, having fought for a while, but I'll let you, you continue, Mr. Stab of Scotch, and then I'll get to him. And now, it's the, by the time they get to the, you get to the Return of the King, you've gotten an wrapped audience. Three, four hours of storytelling later, you are... Regardless of who shows up, though, I am telling Daisy the story. Okay. Get okay. Forward. And she's got her legs crossed, sitting on the floor, uh, completely um, in awe. Uh, you, you, you own, the only reactions you're getting from her are not from her hand code at this point, but just through her eyes and her face as you describe what it was like to get on the lower level, what it's like for the doors to have opened, what it was like for you to experience the combat with the Mind Flayers and the initial, uh, 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 how, how it felt to um, suddenly produce this specter, if you include this, uh, this particular um, detail. Uh, you, what should be a fairy tale is something that you experienced and you can tell it to the utmost detail. And when you're all done, you get sleepy and start to go to bed. But uh, first... Queenie would eventually, and this will be up to Yornir when it would happen, would eventually make her way back to Yornir. You'll arrive, I would say, um, t just before Yornir reaches bed. But it's, it, it would be hours yeah. getting there and coming yeah. back. So as she's probably still just heading, Queenie is still just heading to the city, you hear all the commotion and everyone getting together and, and having survived uh, enjoying almost a night of celebration a sad celebration but one of freedom and you find Manius uh, he is talking to his wife and they are looking for their cat uh, Mommy is this what you are called now? Name too long, Manny Fine. Yes, 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 of course. <laughs> Do you mind if <laughs> I speak with you for a while? Yes, fine. Go! And you hear the, the wife uh, looking underneath one of the couches. Um, and Manius takes you to uh, one of the side rooms, uh, yeah. the guest room where you originally stayed. Some sitting an area. Empty, an empty area where you're able... Actually, you're 
brought back to the room that you woke up in when you first came to Ogerton. Mm. Very cool. Full cool. circle. Full circle. Rhymes. I'll sit down and I'll say, Mommy. Mm. What do you know of the gods? Gods determine all. Who is the god that you worship? I have no name. It's stolen from me. But not Sophomath. I wanted to make sure that you knew that the god that you once worshipped was not the god. No. No. Have you ever heard of Anam, the Allfather? Anam? No. All father. Hmm. He is the god of the giants. My people. And I'll switch to speaking giant. Your people. Perhaps this was the name that was stolen from you. He's the creator of our kind and he's a he's an honorable and strong god indeed Anam but I wanted to share with you my faith is the old faith and that Anam alone cannot steal you and your people through hard times, cold winters. My religion believes in a triad of gods. And I'll pull out some, I think I had some parts from that I made like a map on and like chalk or whatever, or like, like charcoal. Um, you, it would be easy enough to find parchment in on every shelf. This once was a place of the House of Knowledge, and so there's parchment both empty and complete on many shelves. And so I will say, there is Anum, All Father, and I will draw like sort of a, a rough sketch of like an ogre looking face so that he can sort of identify with Anum. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. There is the land. And instead of drawing a mammoth, I'm going to draw a rhino. Oh. Mm. Mm. This is Drakkar, the goddess of the land. And then as importantly, there's Odin. This is the all-father of man. Of the human. Yes. The All Father, he is the god that watches over those that you live with, that you coexist with. Coexist as friends. Yes. And the triad itself is they are three gods in one. They are they watch over the land and they will make sure that you are safe, that the humans are safe, and that the land stays safe. It will build a strong connection between you, your family, and your new family, and your new claim on the land. Do you understand? He takes his huge mitt of a hand and presses it against his forehead and sort of slicks it back around and down his neck across his bald head. 
<coughs> He's also speaking in giant with you now. Yes. Also, man, protect, keep safe myself. Yes. Yes, and the tribe. Together. For an individual of our kind, we live in tribes, do we not? Your family, the other ogres. Glad I met you. And those that worship and that are protected by, and I'll point to the bearded man in a hood with one eye that I sort of sketched out in charcoal. They are part of the tribe too. Of course. Of course. And of I'll, course. I'll sort of pass him the, the, the I was trying to draw sort of like a, like a triad uh, of, of the gods. Uh, I will show you more things if we stay. But I wanted to give you back something that was taken from you in your deception. Or in deception of you, I guess, technically. Thank you, Yorn. Good night, Manius. You will be a good leader, I know. Uh, gift for you. He gives you his wand. Oh. And and when you pick it up, the same charge that runs through Queenie almost at the same time, given how the timing works, strikes you, and you realize. This almost could work as a channel for you. A channel of arcane mag magic. Thank you. <laughs> I will always remember this place and what we've done together with this. And I'll think back on when we first got here and the first time I ever laid eyes on him, I laid, laid eyes on him in the hot spring, him holding a wand. I'll think back. I'll bring this, bring this all full circle, and I will smile, and I will get up, uh, and I'll grab my uh, staff, and I'll put a hand on his shoulder and say, "Good night, Mammies. Find Cat, and he slams the door open, and he, he <coughs> makes his way, and you with what questions you have in your mind feel you've done a great gesture in this moment I will return to the rest of them uh, and get ready for them. just as the story ends you re realize everyone is full everyone is tired people are making what spaces they can the interior many of the rooms are undamaged if they are far enough away from the face of this manor and you each find a resting place and you go to sleep until my apologies i forgot queenie arrives just in time to find you making your bed yorn you you got a minute yes you alone in here oh, i don't know i look around uh he has found a uh single bed for himself, a guest room. You wouldn't want me to lie to you. About anything. It is not something I think about whether you deceive me or not. But you... Can you just work with me here, buddy? Oh. Uh, I suppose, no. I would... My preference... It's still would... in there. I think you know that. I have a feeling of maybe. Now, I know that our family is not necessarily like us. We are people of nature, you and I. 
And though we differ greatly, I think the core of our understanding is from a very similar place. Now, I think if we work together, we can fix this problem if you want to try. So I went back mm -hmm. and I found this and I pull out the half of the, I know it's gross, but I have these and I pull out one of my glowing facies. If this, with its renewal, you saw what it did for those ghosts, if we could find some way Oh, and this, and I pull out the wand, and it's thrumming. I, I don't know what it's about, but I'm thinking. I have one too. <laughs> oh, well, look at us. We're we're getting real powerful in here. I'm thinking. I know that pests and and parasites never grew on these flowers. Ever. There was never a mosquito near them. There were no leeches in the earth. There were no bugs to eat at their leaves. Why? If we could find some way to combine this magic with this thing, maybe we could use these to get that thing out of you. Now, I'm not a medicine woman. That's not my area of expertise, but you, you know medicine. And so I thought maybe if I brought this to you, we could cut it open and we could see how it works. Maybe, I've never done this. We could cut this open and see how it works. And if we work together, my mind and yours, maybe we can figure out how to make this stop. We don't have much time, but I ain't completely stupid. And you're quite smart yourself. So I don't know. Maybe it's just a vague hope, but when I looked up at the stars and I thought about all, all, all the things we've been through, at least there's a little bit of hope, right? I do not know. But. It's worth a shot. I have been reflecting since it happened. Perhaps this is the end of my pilgrimage. Perhaps it was my purpose to cleanse this. Perhaps the Princess of Wrath, the seemingly primal being in pure communion with the land itself, having the artifact. Perhaps that was the purpose. You said something to tash in. And I, I know you're not the type to try and make people feel better for the sake of making people feel better. That's my job. But you said something to him that the land brought him here for a reason. And I hold the seat up to you and you can see it glowing and it's beautiful fairy light. I think the land brought me here for a reason too. And if there's a parasite on this land, and you are the symbol of that land, then maybe together we can find a way to purge the parasite from the land. Are you getting what I'm picking are you picking up what I'm laying down? Why am I here? If not for these. Without you here, you never would have brought the sun back. Perhaps because you have more seeds, you have further purpose. Yeah. And it not, might not work, but we can try. I do not know if the land has further purpose for me. And you'll see that I'm sort of... I've been fiddling with my knife. Um, I do not know how much time I have. Neither do I. But I will not... 
let myself become corrupted into the Bono Nation that I've spent so long, so many years, so many steps, attempting to purge. No, and I'm not saying you do that. But that thing's not gone, and I don't, I don't want to say it in front of Tai Shin because he's already walking around with a bushel full of guilt. But we can try. If it comes back, and if it brings more, if we can crack the code on how to stop it with you. Will you provide me this? I'll pass it to you, and I'll pass you the butt half of the tadpole. I will... You just give me one second. Mm -hmm. I will take out my tuxa, and I will put half of it, uh, half of the parasite in the cup. I will put the seed in the cup. And then I will go into my herbalism kit and just pull out all the different herbs and roots and things that are known for diseases, cures, um, uh, you know, anything, getting rid of parasites, tapeworm, you know, whatever I think would sort of help in my medicine man past, uh, I would add that to the cup and I would pull out, pull out a small pestle and smash it into a paste. Mm, you do. And you start to work the herbs and the medicine and the seed and the lavender crawfish tadpole into a paste of sorts. And it at first is hard to get a consistent flurry of sorts, but you are eventually able to work the pestle into a consistent and clean product and it simultaneously looks sickly uh, a sort of uh, gray pink color unlike most medicine and it also sparkles still capturing that amazing magical potent power of these seeds that Queenie keeps with her and you arrive at what you think is the conclusion what, what it must be. Tasting it, you hope that the ratios are right. You've put all of your shamanistic effort into it, and Queenie has provided two new components that come from her very heart and goodwill, certainly, but may also give you a hope to free yourself from what might be inside, like a seed growing in your own mind. Will you stay with me? I'm not going anywhere. Join me. And I will to get off the bed and I will sit down on the ground. And I'll gesture for you to sit across from me. I sit across, across from you. I will reach out, reach into my uh, pack and I will pull out a rolled up piece of uh, seal hide uh, that's wrapped with some some leather um, uh, strap I will untie it and I will unroll it and place it between us and I will and you'll see, you'll see all of these runes and etchings on it um, and sort of kind of done in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a rough way. And I'll lay it out in front of me and I'll say, I brought this here from my home. I've had it with me this whole way. Before I left, when I was at the gathering of standing stones, my circle communed on one of our holy holidays, and an elder from the circle had a vision. His name, he was called Imnar. He would not tell me what 
a vision entailed. But he gave me this. And he told me I would know when to use it. I don't know if this is that time. But I don't see a future for myself. So this must be the time. And in front of me is a, uh, from a mechanical perspective, a scroll of lesser restoration that I've had since <laughs> literally <laughs> yeah, session one. Was that um, your, like, take an item off of my take table off of or whatever, you, you know? You look, Holy shit. You look at the scroll, and you look at the symbols <laughs> therein, and your experience being what it is, perhaps it's the smell of the medicine or the experiences that you've had over the last day or perhaps it's that Queenie is lending you her strength but you see through the lesser restoration you see perhaps an extra boon a little early oh, ah. it's... <laughs> what the hell should I read this if you want to open hand you invite the spirits of the land to cleanse a willing creature's essence fostering balance with the primal forces. As an action, you can touch the creature and end any disease, curse, or negative conditions afflicting it. Only diseases, curses, or negative conditions that would require a wish to remove cannot be cleansed in this way. Whoa. Once you use this feature, you must finish a long rest in which you dream before you can use it again. Oh my god. What a cool condition. That is a cool condition. Restoration Whoa. seems to be it before you. So and you can't write this shit. <laughs> <laughs> As I'm sitting there, the scrolls in front of me. I will take some incense out. I will, I will take my hands and I will place them on yours. I will light the and incense and go through the whole process with you. I will take some of the paste. I will mark a rune on my forehead. Oh. I will mark a rune under one eye. I will mark a rune on the other eye. Create a little trial. Um, and then I will take the rest of the paste I will consume it and then I will put my hands down and I will chant the shamanic verve or shamanic uh, chant that is written in runes on the seal skin uh in a sort of trance-like state casting lesser restoration and I guess also using this ability open hand uh, simultaneously, maybe unlocking it however you want to flavor it. Like, that's what I do. You Fuck do this <laughs> and as you chant there's a moment where all of a sudden it's like your ears pop and you hear this thud. Queenie, you see uh, uh, what is clearly trying to hold on and into your near's mind one of these final tadpoles uh, get pushed out by the will of your near and slide to the ground with a disgusting wet slap hit the ground and uh, next to your near he doesn't seem to uh, notice he's still chanting and 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 uh, opening himself to the land he's still working through that but you have a moment I'm while this it. Like a mosquito, it splatters to a thin pancake, and you are able to end this threat immediately, without question, easily. And you. But I will. I will do it just like hunting in the forest. I will make no noise. Your ear will have no idea that I've moved at all. You do this, and crushing it as you do. You know that Yornir is back to his old self, whole again, with no risk or potential transformation, but you don't stop him from completing the ritual as he goes deep into his own meditative state. And a while passes, hard to say if it's a minute, 10, or an hour, but eventually you're near you come back to yourself and as tired as you both are the threat is over 
There is no chance that you will ever seramorphosize into a mind flare. How you feeling? I grab your hands. It worked. It worked. And you'll see like the the seal parchment almost like turn into like sea spray and salt as it sort of blows away uh, in the incense, in the swirling incense. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm I'm gonna stay with you tonight to make sure you're all right. All right. Okay. Thank you, Yornir, for keeping hope alive. Let's get some sleep. I will deeply nod, and I will, yeah, I'm gonna bed. You do. Eventually, I think you're the last to go to sleep, Queenie. Yeah, I, I would wait until I can hear the soft snores of Yornir before But Yornir I... would be the second to last. For your three companions, Taishen, Barnabas, and Scrim had already been fast asleep, and eventually you enter a deep rest knowing there will be a morning and some new future that awaits you. All of you dream. All of you have a very familiar dream. A dream of a library. Your own library. The library of your mind. Walking past the shelves of tomes, everything is in its rightful place. And you sense no dread or tension or sensation of an intruder as you did before. You pass by books that represent your memories, your sensations, specific things, skills even, emotions. You pass books left best unopened. You pass by uh, uh, some that you choose to remain closed. You pass by books that represent family. You walk further until finally you find a new book on a shelf. Pristine. The binding unmarked, unworn. But this is not the book of today's memories. It is a book that can only be written by the terrible stress one endures in a confrontation with a being like Sophilith. The pages were pressed by psionic power. And in itself, the mental strain it took to push against those telepathic attacks penned by the brutality and force of survival in those moments that nearly broke you. Reaching up, you take the tome and flip through it and realize the experience you've had has opened your mind to even greater potentials than you would have not found on your own. Queenie dreams and reads this tome. Taishen, you find this in your book. Barnabas. For you, Scrim. And you're near. You do not dream. You enjoy a sleepless, restful night before you all awaken the next morning. A new day ahead. And that is where we'll call tonight's session. Got it right up. Man! What a session! Gotcha. What an arc! Thank you, Derek. What an arc. And that is where we'll call this arc. That's Woo. exactly right. Wow.